clocks running. Does that mean we're live? We're live. Here we are. Are we really? Yep. Fuck. Sick. That was a great way to enter it. I guess we're rolling now. <laughs> we're rolling. We're good to go. Vibes changed. I guess so. <laughs> My vibe will stay the same. Well, cool. I All guess I, I guess we're rolling. So this is the Built Different Podcast with Tucker Speed. Um, we're joined today by Corey and Gary. Hive crew. Uh, of the Hive crew. Yes, a couple sir. of local stunt riders. Um, so I'm stoked to be, uh, you know, to dive into these guys' story and what they're all about and where they're trying to go and all that. So, um, but before we get going, just, you know, real quick, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, YouTube. Stay up to date on this. We are now on all of the podcast platforms. Uh, I don't even know all of them. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all that stuff. Wherever you get your podcast at, you subscribe. can find us there. So, yeah, check it out. Um, and, and, and to stay engaged, uh, we've been teasing the listener question of the week. We finally have an email address that you can submit that to. So if you have a question that you want answered on the podcast, hit us up at podcast at tuckerspeed.com. And, uh, if we read your question, you'll get a free t-shirt in the mail too. And, uh, so yeah, it'll be cool to, to kind of get some cool questions, get my opinion, get our guest's opinion on whatever that topic is. So hit us with some good questions this week, and uh, we'll get some questions going on the next podcast. So, um, yeah. So what's up, guys? Hey, Still we're here. Tony, thanks for having us. Buddy. Yeah, man, appreciate I'm it. you guys yeah, could do this. You. I'm glad that you you guys were down to do this. Of course. Uh, you thanks know. for giving us the platform. Yeah, the opportunity yeah. is awesome, for no, sure. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, let, let's just start with Hive Crew, right? Like that's, yeah, that's who you guys are, right? Yeah, yeah. we're Hive yeah. Crew. Like, what, and, and so what? Like, tell me, what? Like, what is Hive Crew? Do you want to? Uh, it's just want? Salt Lake's crew, man. Um, everybody's doing their thing right now. I feel like even going way back uh, when I first started riding, this was the shop that I came to. Um, the scene's growing; it goes and mm -hmm. goes. Uh, I think that uh, going back to when uh, I first started riding to going to like my, my first out of state ride. Everybody has their scene, mm -hmm. and I think that we're just Utah scene. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and it was cool to see because, like, I think when we started here, like, we never, like, tried to be, like, the stunt. Right. That's not, like. But you got it. Like, yeah, you understood it, it. I think we could, you know, we, we could build the bikes or we were kind exactly. of in the same that genre. Part, that like, part right you there. You know, like, we could do that. So, like. You liked the shit that uh, we liked. I think like a performance motorcycle Bingo. or a performance Harley and a stunt bike are a little different. They're, no, I, I mean, think but they're, they're hand in hand, but they're, they're, they're obviously they're, different. Nice. They're yeah. more yeah. similar than yeah. like your, your, your T-bar is a nice suspension. Yeah. Make yeah. Sure yeah. More so than yep. like, than like Obviously a big like wheel bagger compared to, yeah. Or, right. a, you know, a, you know, like a Vickless soft tail or something like that. Bars right? like Definitely. this or something that makes a bike ride good. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that like we were into that kind of like, just you know, getting the most out scene. of a, yeah. if that's just the making the bike ride good. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. But I, I mean, I think it's been cool to see the scene like evolve over the last. It's gone crazy the last few like years. Three years, years yeah. of like, you know, like, like there wasn't that many dudes in the state that were like, who could stunt. No, no, definitely. And then I started on a chopper. Yeah, <laughs> like, Man, like I, I, I know like so many dudes that like weren't stunting. They were riding around on choppers or whatever scooters yeah. you know what i mean yep, like, yep. Well, that was <laughs> the first bike night on the scoot you know fucking hanging 12 down i think i did my sick. first wheelie put my foot on a big old sissy bar <laughs> so. yeah when i met you you were doing uh double peg standards on the yeah, back no, no break, back break or anything and i was like forever. this is probably one of the most sketchy individuals i've ever met in my whole life <laughs> no it's but been, i wanted to do yeah. wheelie that's yeah, it's it been cool to see the scene evolve and and grow and and i think that like Hive crew is giving like the Utah scene, like some credibility, cool. like, or an identity, if you will, like, a, you know, for, for dudes not in Utah. Just putting Utah sure. on the map. Like yeah, there's definitely. kids here doing the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then not only are you like getting local kids into it as well. That's a big part too. You're also mm -hmm. like, you're, you know, through social and stuff, you're inspiring kids elsewhere. Right. Sure. What's crazy is like, uh, it took me forever to get where I'm at. And like we got these new kids that'll throw T bars and uh, you know thirteen point five fourteen inch shocks on their bike and come ride with us and they'll be wheeling within like months. 
Oh, yeah. for like, sure. It took yeah. me fucking years. For sure. And uh, to see, like, to, to, like, now have, like, a base and, mm-hmm. like, that's what changed it is when I went out of state, I, w- I remember telling Drake, uh, Drake 801, I was like, dude, I don't even care about, like, doing all this crazy shit. Like, I just like riding. And then I went, uh, Footwork Fulton took me to California and I, like, went on a Ride of Legends. Craziest ride of my life still to this day. Um, but that's when everything changed. I was like, uh, something got into me then. Mm-hmm. And it's like, sick. poof, I, yeah. w- I want to be good at this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um, but now that like, uh, we are where we're at and then these kids, uh, you know, get a sportster and it's like, dude, put They're socks, up fast. put socks and T-bars on that thing and you can wheelie it. Mm-hmm. And sure. that, and they listen and they put socks and T-bars and they, they come out and they can wheelie. They get yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you guys stoked to see it, or like are you, I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I dude. Love when it. we started, it was like, bro. I remember there was a handful of us. And you know, people there was used a to like step down, and it's like one thing about I, I feel like Hive Crew. Um, come ride. Like people are like scared 100%. or nervous or like, oh, I don't want to ride with you. You guys are good. Like it's not like that. Mm-hmm. It's like we're all here rip. for the love. Yeah, of the sport. The scene, like I enjoy watching the scene come. I'll I'll sit down with you and and uh, at the lot and and. Train. Pop the clutch. Don't give it all the gas. Fucking ease into it. Pick it up. Yep. And they'll fucking do it. Yep. So that's, is there that's any, dope. I didn't have people like that. Yeah. To, no, to yeah. Because when me like and Corey anybody, started, it was like, we're we're studying the big dogs yeah. on yeah. social media, like zooming in. What's ha- his back break doing? I'm, what, yeah. I'm doing wheelies on my passenger pegs, just learning uh, how just not powering, to loop. Yeah. Yeah. How not to loop. But I power wheelied for fucking a, a minute and 30 seconds on one of my earliest videos. And and to me, I was like, I can wheelie forever. And I didn't even know about my rear brake. So now, now when people ask me, they're like, you know, what, what's the easiest thing to do? Now that I know what I know is get a small bike. <laughs> yeah. get a mini. Don't, don't put all your money in, into your Harley because a lot of people like a Harley is uh, the most expensive thing they have. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, um, and nope. get, a, get a small bike and, and learn foot control. That muscle memory is going to be what's, uh, what's going to get you good. Yeah. Is there, tell me honestly, is there any part of you that's ever like see a young kid come in and then just start ripping wheelies in like a month, and you're just like, no, punk kids like like so much better than me. I love no, it. No. Hell, I think no. it's sick, dude. That's not like it. honestly, there's like Corey said, the scene's coming up so fast right now, and there's so much talent here in Utah, like and all over the place. But we had a handful of guys ripping. Like we had the we had the videos we were are, watching. We were studying videos of the big dog sea bear and like you know all all, there's the, all the OG big dogs, but. When these kids started coming up and actually like started like looking up to Hive Crew and like started coming to ride with us at the lots and stuff, you can see the kids that got it in their eyes. Yeah, and then you can see the kids that don't. You know, like Rippers. if if you want it and you want to get really good, you're gonna put in the time. You're gonna yeah. put in the seat time, yeah. just like anything else. Like, For me, gonna- um, like there was a small little sliver where like I uh, it was like a umph for me. But dude, there's always somebody better. Like there's 100%. Polly drags in uh, uh, on the East Coast. Yeah, he's like 16 doing double hand drags. He's like, like I'm not. It's not. I'm not in it to be the best anymore. Like I just have fun. Like mm-hmm, it's not a competition. Sure. Um, it's it's just to to, to have none fun of us and, are and, making a hundred grand a year. Yeah. So it's nobody. I'm not, is. I'm not threatened by anybody coming up because right. none yeah. of us are it's making a, a living doing this. Yeah. You know, like we're all doing it for I fun. Am, I still pay for my parts. Like I get my bike worked on for free, which is amazing. You know, that's a huge. Yeah, shout that's out a Black huge. Line. Yeah, Black Line. Um, but like, we're not in it to make money. Obviously, like you know, you work on the shit and like you wrench and like. Yeah, you know how it goes, you know, me. like it's like there's no that's Just not money in it. As long as my Taco well. Tuesday ride uh, has more people every summer, that's fucking dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yep. the scene, the it's the scene as a whole that's like is, is crazy to see it go up. Yeah. Like I'm not here to be the best. It's not yeah, my thing. For sure. No, that's yeah. cool. I mean, it's good. That's good. I mean, that means you can build a good, healthy scene. And it's good. Like, I think I, what Utah has going for it is that there's a lot of kids who race motocross. Did you guys ever grow up racing yeah, motocross that's or where riding I came from. motocross? Yeah, and I bit, think yeah. that I've seen a, a, a trend I mean, in the last five years of like dudes like getting older and they hang up the motocross boots, right, and grab a Harley, and then grab they a grab a Harley. So, uh, I think that's the new thing. Kill it. Yeah, Johnny Garcia, shout yeah. out. Um, yeah. He 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 has raced some shout pro some pro <laughs> events in mm-hmm. motocross. The kid hopped on a Harley and Dude, within a month a, he what? was. A, t- a 98 low 90, rider, 94 Evo, convertible, single Evo. piston calipers, bro. He hopped on that bike and was 
and was dragging Fender and uh, doing donuts within, within one like two, summer. Oh yeah, within like no, within like two or three weeks of him on the bike. He was, you he know, was coming from the, the back. But it's because he has motocross. people like us to go after. One hundred percent. Well, and he also has guys to, to watch and study, right? Exactly. That's yep. what I'm saying. That's, yeah. You know, and that's that's probably what you didn't have right. in the beginning. And I didn't, you didn't have a dude to like be like, no, oh, I just. Oh, he's sitting on the bike this way, yeah. or he's using the brake. I or whatever. tell kids that who say like, "Yo, uh, uh, I wanna, I wanna do what you do." I'm like, "Dude, come to the lot. Um, I'll, I'll sit there and tell you. Grab your front brake, do a little burnout, put your foot down, and let go of your front brake. They'll be doing circles uh, one session. Like it's, it's For not sure. this shit that we do isn't rock and science. It's just a big heavy piece of metal that nobody's tried. Mm. Not excuse me, not nobody, but not a lot of people have tried lot, yeah. to do what we're doing. Yeah, it's not it's not crazy hard, and, it's, and that's it's what I like. To, it's man, like, it's dude, like, you can do this shit too. Yeah, I I love I love it, man. And having everybody come up and they're like asking yeah, for fun. advice and stuff. It's I love awesome. it, dude. I love like giving that advice and being like, no, try this, like yeah. do this, slide in and do this. If it's and they not, do it, and you see like they catch it, and you see that spark in their eye, like yeah. oh, I just got it, and you're like. Oh, he just got if it. It's like, not he's being taking the best, off now, you know? Like, it's eating off of, like, being able to, like, just influence other kids, for yeah, sure. for sure. And that's honestly, that's huge. And, bro, we're in such a good spot. Like, we're in such an amazing, like, spot. I love yeah. the position I'm in because we were some of the first people scraping for Fender sure. and, like, doing here, doing the crazy stunts on Harleys here in Utah. Mm -hmm. And I'm honored to have the amount of people that look yeah, up to dope. us in the industry. You know, it's all, and we've I'm, been to honor. enough out of state events that uh, we're also tied in with like all the other clicks in the uh, you know Jay Brew out in uh, California Tahoe. and Truckee, um, uh, all the Crucy guys and uh, Hooligan Stunts out in Arizona, Arizona like, and Nevada. Um, yep. uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Trent. Oh. He's in, he's, in, he's in Arizona. Cruzy yeah, all, like yep. we're we've Nine tied in with a, with enough out of state events, and that's the cool thing. What's like, if we go out of state, we've we Footwork Fulton took me to California, and that was like the first like out of state event, Ride of Legends, and then I realized like all these people come to this place. Um, all the states that came to the swarm ride, we had been to, and that's how the game works. Like uh, at least you support and they support, right? And like you know how it goes. You go to support we had, something. We had Canada, Idaho, um, Arizona, California, Canada. Like we had m multiple, <laughs> multiple places come from uh, from out of state uh, to our ride. But we had also, except for Canada, those kids showed out. Um, oh, they showed out. They came out. They came out swinging. And yeah, these they did. dudes were. The most Almost Canadians stoked, bro. Do. They but do with everything. Yeah, yeah. They, they got <laughs> they, something in their water uh, up there. On dude. any Sunday, you know. shout out. Yep. Um, but it's dope how the scene works because, like, and then we all go to something like Sturgis, and it's like it all the killers are there. Goes and, on. like, yeah. we're for Utah. We yep. put on for Utah. Yeah, and, and, and it's cool to have a, a Utah representation right. in some of those. Like, it's cool to see. Yeah, it's fun. For sure. sure. There's, you know, like, not just a dude from Utah. Right. It's but a there's collect. a community, there's yeah. a there's a crew, there's, there's like a legit like And we're know. hungry, man. Like obviously yeah. we we get the winner. This winner was one of the biggest winners since nineteen eighty, since before I was born. You Arizona's know? So I haven't, slaying I haven't, all year round. Yeah. I haven't I haven't read to catch up. I haven't <laughs> I haven't ridden my Harley since uh since October. I wrote it like for one video shoot since October, you know? And I'm just like dying of FOMO watching all these boys yeah. all year in like warm weather but dude we're hungry like yeah, we're it hungry comes sure. out and it's riding season it's like we're hungry and we get out there and we ride with our whole heart you yeah. know uh, like it was dope we got when the, when we had the swarm in those Arizona boys I like took two steps on the stairs because uh like I you said before I don't I don't get to ride with uh people that are better than us here mm -hmm. in the state mm -hmm. and when we get to ride with those boys it's like they show us what's kind of quick up. yeah, yeah. yeah. let's sure. see what they're doing and uh and and let's go hard Definitely. for sure 100 percent is there do you think there's any like weird rivalries no. from like one state to another like even no. friendly stuff like um, it's all not friendly even. it's all friendly I, I feel yeah. like it's me and Corey all, I talk so much shit on this we full. have rivals like, yeah. in our circle we have rivals <laughs> yeah. but like uh, 100%. out of state like the cruisy no. dudes or no, whoever else no those guys else, show like, us so much no, respect yeah. and they're doing all so much more from than us all mm -hmm. cruise yep all love it's from all everybody love for sure. 100 that's what it, i love about it, the moto community is like it's unlike any other community i've been a lot of part of a lot of action sports yeah, you know, no snowboarding and, that bullshit is like, and like and if there is is there them. are a few heads them. in the game that's like so weird energy but it's like snip like i don't need yeah, i don't need that us. but what, what i think is like 
this is such a tight community because we all obviously ride motorcycles and it's deadly. You know, we can, what's crazy we can, is we, uh, we can die, we can die doing this stuff, you right? know? True. So I think that's what like keeps everybody so grounded and humble with, uh, and, and so close, you know, because like, I love everybody in the community. If you ride a motorcycle, I love you, bro. Right. You know, like you're on a Harley, you're, you're on the road. That's why we do this. Like, remember who you are, you know, like, remember, What's Keep crazy is the people that do show that energy are already like so high up that it's like, why? Why would you think I'm competition? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's almost um, an honor. Uh, it's like, I mean, I guess it's like the it's just goofy like, to me. It's, it's like, like it uh, means that we're a threat of some kind. Uh, yeah, maybe, or it's just you know weird insecurities on right, there. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. But you if they're I mean? in that most position, of the people that I'm that like way, this like, with, and they know who they are, it's like uh, there's no competition. We're all doing the thing, and we're just the ones doing it here. Yeah, for sure. No, yeah. it's cool. So like, so back to like, what is Hive Crew like? So I'll, I'll take what, this what, one. What? Um, Hive Crew. So we all had written. For a long, uh, at least a year together. Like how many um, dudes? So there's me, get a Gary. There's Corey, Easy Does It, 801. There's Tub Tub, 801, which is Taylor Allen. He just got there's in. There's Dinah Dave. Slayer. There's Dinah Dave. There's um, Drake 801. Drake 801. Swank and, and Gary. Swank, Swank FXR, and that's, that's all of us. Swank um, has been doing hand drag circle, or uh, excuse me, handbrake circles on a sportster fucking 10 years ago in oh, Florida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's OG. Came here to, uh, to have a better life for himself and um, kind of slowed down on the stunting, but then uh, as soon as he got his bikes back up and all that, uh, he, I remember him doing donuts when I had, like, my second Harley and me being like, holy fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, and it's just dope to be able to bring him in the circle now, and, and he he's, he's, he's a, a slayer. fucking slayer. He rips. Yeah. yeah, he can ride. He can he ride. Definitely rip. He definitely But with, with Hive Crew, how it got founded was we had this group of riders for, like, a year, and we all rode religiously for a year, you know, a lot We started together. linking together. It was And hard. we started linking together because we're, we're Salt Lake know? and Ogden an hour drive, you know. But um, the thing was, like, wh- we got to start a crew, you know. Like, we got to start something that we can start uh, marketing ourselves chat. and, like, doing this thing. and. So finally, one day we're like, "What's the name gonna be?" And the name was like spinning. We were throwing all sorts of stupid right. stuff out there. But Utah is the Beehive State, mm-hmm. you know. Right. So Utah, hive. Utah Hive. We were like, "Okay, what can we do with the Hive?" Okay, the let's do a Hive Crew. So um, it kind of went debate back and forth. Eventually, we pulled the trigger and we're like, "We're gonna be a Hive Crew." You know, it's pretty Boom. good. I pretty dig it. Pretty good for yeah. the for Utah. You know, Just and, marketable. And, and anybody who doesn't know Utah. That's why we did Hive Crew, because Utah is the beehive state. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's that's the story behind why it's Hive Crew. Yeah. So is there, in Hive Crew, is there like a hierarchy? Like, no, who, is there like a leader? The, level? Thing, or the cool thing is that we got like Jamie Lindsay on the couch. Yeah. Um, you know, we got, we got people that, uh, all I do is fucking ride. I like all to ride we do is ride. We got people that do the. Jamie does all the. Shout out Jamie Lindsay. He does all the uh, clothes. He does all the clothing. Does the accounting. S- you know, one Cody. He, he shows up early. Uh, sets up the sets up the booth at the events and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, so he's kind of. We forgot him and Cody. Skato one Cody are our team managers. Skato and one then Cody Cody's does the, the social media, he marketing, does, all that stuff. He does yeah. the business. Then we got Short Dog Eight Hundred One. He's also a, a main head in our in our circle. He do, he does a lot of the. Um, uh, investments, you know, huge uh, supporter. Huge, he's he's been my homie since I was twelve years old, thirteen years old. Um, but he he's a killer in his own circle, and he puts a lot of money into us and and for shirts and all that. And all the money that we get goes straight back into the company. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the whole circle, right? Did we forget anyone? Nope. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah, we. For the riders, though, we named them. But uh, there's people in the background that make this shit happen for Skate real. On Cody, all I do, Lindsay, all I do is ride. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm just here to show up and, and spin wheel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's uh, those three people we named, Cody, Sean, and Jamie, make this shit really happen as a, uh, as a, as a thing. They're, they're, they're on the back end. Yeah, they're, they're on the, the back end. The the they hold the sure. thing together, yeah. and we just ride. We just ride our, <laughs> our oh, motorcycles. That's good, because then yeah. you guys can, We need that. We can focus. I, I don't know yeah, how to You can focus on what you do, and then they can focus on, like, Creating putting it. the you know the content together or the event or whatever and, exactly. and they can do a good job at what they're doing so they do. that's cool yeah. i mean everybody has that. yeah yeah that. i mean i got you know if Jordan. it was all of us we'd be arguing yeah. about who gets what tire exactly yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah you know i got the same thing like with jordan like he he handles all this like setting right. all this up and doing all it like 
to do it, you got to have you got to have those the, people, the support team, right? Absolutely, Definitely. it takes a village, and man. It's, a ne- it's necessary, and they never get the the recognition, right? Yeah, like, right. We only named five people and totally left them out on yeah. that first roll well, call. Well, I mean, and it's hard because like you go to an event and and the crowd's Cody's cheering for you mic. guys, right? Like, we Cody kills it when we're at events. We He's have our booth up, and sure. yeah, he he plays. So the Cody music Cody comes shit. from a background of skateboarding and doing uh, shows with like Monster Energy, going to like do these big shows and stuff. So he's used to being on the we mic. Immediately so were like, it's awesome mic. to have a high, it's awesome <laughs> to have a dude that knows what's going on, knows what to say. It it helps make the show, honestly. Right. Yeah. It, helps, it helps keep the crowd engaged. If we were just riding, it would it, it would be, be cool. uh, yeah. uh, it would be a shit show of smoke, you know what I mean, which is cool. But it, uh, the hype and and uh, Cody on the mic uh, Help uh, during the show sure. is fucking yeah. detriment. Yeah. So you guys said that you got like merch, like shirts and stuff oh, and yeah. hats, yeah. like is that stuff for sale? Yeah, yeah, we don't have a website quite yet. We're um, working so on we it. So we pretty much, if it. you want hats or web or shirts or anything, um, anytime you see a drop, you can just DM Hive Crew. Or come to the shows. Or come to the we shows. We always have booths. Anytime you see a booth, we're probably carrying merch Soon as well. come. We're trying to build it. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's a process. One step at a time. It you know? takes time and we're money, We're still right? new. Like, takes Hive Crew is only a year old, you know? Yeah. So Time and money, I mean, you know, and like... I'm I'm assuming that Hive Crew is not anybody's full time job, right? No, no, hell no. None of so, us are making money. Like I ride, living that's or it. I any money off Hive Crew for that matter. Yeah. It all goes right back. Yeah, to the, I don't think that this shit will ever be a full time job. You know what I mean? It's it's uh the it'll the, always be kind of a side project. No, not, not that, but it's more just for like enjoyment and, and putting out. Mm-hmm. Like maybe one day. Uh, I mean, ultimate goals. You see unknown. You see you see uh concrete cowboys. Mm-hmm. Like that's ultimate goal. But right now we all have jobs. You know what right. I mean? Sure. So do you guys, is that what you guys like aspire to be? Is yeah, like a, absolutely. Like I mean, that's the more goal. I can ride and the less I have to work. Yeah. That's the goal, man. Like right. yeah. obviously we all want to ride and bro, I don't even have to make a lot of money to ride. I, I get, I get my gas paid for my food paid for my hotels paid for. That's the ultimate goal. Mm-hmm. You know, like at that point it's like, shit, you're on the road for you're me, man. It, you know, uh, like, it's, a, it's really for fun. I love to ride. Um, I love going out of state and all that. I got a child. Uh, Bill's first, my mm-hmm. my daughter first. Um, I really don't see this shit ever taking like my whole life over, um, but unless unless the opportunity came. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me right now, like there's no like crazy uh, dream to cool fucking go. It, yeah. F- yeah, I'd like to ride. That's it. I like fun. to have fun. Yep. I mean, if it got to like the point where you were like getting paid to come and ride, fuck at, yeah. Like, an if event, I could support my my 100%. family, uh, but we're not for riding on that. We're not like yeah, that's exactly. what's gonna happen. If that happens, then the right doors present themselves and open up, and that is an yeah, opportunity. opportunity. Hell yeah, we're yeah. all over opportunities. You know, I, I think there's this fine line of like, like when you go into something like that. Like if you go in from the beginning with like our goal is to make a million dollars. Then your focus is all on the dollar, yep, and not like yeah, no. on the event like and the ride. riding. I like sure. that fun, for and sure. people that's will why, see through it. That's I like seeing smiles on people's faces. Yeah. I like when a kid's like, "What?" Like a Harley, mm-hmm. bro. The first time I, the first memory I have of a Harley, I was in Yellowstone on a family trip, and there's always Harleys in Yellowstone, mm-hmm. big groups of people, and there's all these Harleys pulled off to the side of the road, and I remember like, "What Harleys? Like this is so Hell sick." Yeah. I was probably like five or six years old. This old dude was like, you want to rev up my Harley? And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> Dog, let me rev the shit out of that thing. So he's like, sets me on that thing. And he's like, give her a rip, bud. And I'm like, bah. Bah, 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 bah. He's, he's like, like, hack it off, He's like, no, 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 He's like, no, no, no. He's like, cut it out. He's all, he's like, fuck, knock it off, bud. And I was Damn like, kids. Uh, but from yeah. then, dude, I remember just feeling that all attack. that. Like, I remember that moment from that age when I was like six or seven years old, and I have never forgot that moment. And I want to create the same moments for yeah. kids at these shows. Sure. And like, one for, of the coolest thing to do is uh, at our shows, like, um, that's like when it like hits home because you know you go out and ride and get all fucking jittery but yeah. um doing like the handshakes or like looking at a kid in his eyes and being and like yeah <laughs> you know they're what stoked. i mean that's or you cool. I'll, I'll roll up that's cool i'll roll up click it in neutral give it a spin dog yeah no and i'm like she he's gonna remember that for the rest <laughs> yeah. of his life you yeah. know that's like, that's, that's when it like hits you that like oh this is big big time or whatever yeah. is whenever you're doing it like when you have a crowd 
and like you're throwing shirts out or or uh, or say or like clapping hands and like people are like on for you like that. And that it feels shit, good. Yeah, that it feels, feels good. Cool. Like it does That's crazy. give you like. And you know, with the bag of racing, it's the same thing. You know, I'm sure like for sure I get that he, feeling. You don't even see you that because you're just in he's in the zone mode. in the race. But Hell. like I think a similar thing. Like you know, the first race two years ago that was here in Utah. Like, yeah. Like yeah, in the race on the starting line, you're so far you're away the from mode. the yeah. crowd. Yeah. yeah. But like that first year. I came off the track and like the grandstands were right there and there wasn't that many people, but but even some everybody like when I rolled by, like they knew I was the local dude right. and they were like standing up. Yeah, like, that's cool. Cheering me. And then when I like pulled into the garages, like, like, yeah, that's like, yeah, it's fucking feels it's good. A, it, it, feels it feels sick. great. It's feels awesome. Good. Yeah. I cool. mean, and I only placed fourth that, that, at that race. I mean, I felt like I rode my ass you're off. You're from here and but, you're like, on the podium. Yeah. Like that's cool. And, and that so, just shows that our community is, is loyal. Yeah. Like they they support their people, right. you know, which is sick. Like you should support your people. For that's, sure, that's how yeah. it should be. You know, let's support Sweet. our locals. Yeah, definitely. So I think I mean I can definitely appreciate like that satisfaction you get from like a like a show mm -hmm. versus yeah. like it's a yeah, different it's feeling fun. from like just like going out to the lot For or sure. whatever and like just you know like. Yeah. having a really good session like that feels great right. but it's kind of more of like a solo like self it's almost uh like even that's why i love riding streets dude when i ride streets and somebody pulls out their, their phone, phone they're streets like, are my favorite it. that's almost why like i don't slay it on the bagger but um yeah. even a stand-up wheelie down state street on the bagger everybody is like, will be like <laughs> like that's just my showstopper you know what i mean sure. um like i said i don't kill it like i'll ride the dyna hard in my shows but then when i pull the bagger out uh, uh, people act different when when they see it's that bike bagger. Yeah. doing what what it's what's just being like done. Not a bike that you would think yeah, ever that's, is gonna. That's your dad's especially bike. Especially like a that's five your foot grandpa's guy, bike. Five foot <laughs> yeah. tall like child <laughs> right there. You know, like when I see a five foot tall child pull like up just a bagger, I'm like, oh, bagger. I remember <laughs> when I first got my bagger. It was the craziest <laughs> feeling. Like something ran through my head every time I came to a stoplight. I'm like, no, this isn't my dad's. This is fucking mine. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, just yeah. feels different. Yeah, it gives you that feeling. No, yeah. that's cool. Uh, so, like, what do you guys have planned for this year? Like, so so far this year, we, we got our own our our own ride coming up. Mm -hmm. um, we call swarm. it the Hive Crew Swarm. It, it'll be the swarm second Salt annual Lake. Swarm Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, happens uh, May 26th to the 29th. It's a whole weekend. We take over Salt Lake. That's uh, that's our street ride for shows. I think we got. Almost ten shows we have lined seven up. Seven shows lined up for, right now, all over the place. That's all for Black and we'll, Line, in Utah, we'll, or uh, just uh, we'll, or? yeah, all in Utah right now. Okay, um, and those will Black be updated on Hive Crew um, as we go on, right? on Instagram. Yeah. On Instagram, yeah. yep. And we're we, we're still to release them all. We got seven shows lined up for Black Line Speed Shop. Um, they're our sponsor. They take care of all the Hive Crew riders. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna ride for all of their shows. Um, we also have, I think, five. Well, well shit. Three of them have been canceled because of this winter weather. Yeah. We have one uh, coming up on uh, 420 at South Valley Harley Davidson. Yeah. Yep. Um, so that one's That's next, next week. Next, right? week. next week. Yeah, next week. And it calls for rain. No snow. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting snow. We're back. Dude, it was 80 headphones. degrees like two days ago, and we're going back. We're going backwards, like Benjamin we'll Button. see, man. We'll see what happens. Right now, we got a lot lined up. Um, seven for them. We we have uh, one every month for Salt Lake Harley, but as the months go on, they get canceled. But as soon as we see some sunshine, uh, we'll have some shows. We have shows planned, yeah, for sure. I think, uh, like the names, the the swarm. Yeah, I think it's so cool. pretty swarm fitting. Salt Lake. Pretty we're, fitting. We're, we're, I yeah. think it's yeah. We're the like beehive of the Salt Lake. Sure. Like when I yeah. saw that, I was like. That's really the coolest yeah. name. Like, I mean, there fits. was no other name that we could have used, And it's exactly honestly. what we do, dude. Yeah. Last year, we, we planned this whole thing, and we were all nervous trying to come up with the— I mean, we were coming up with the route, at, I mean, probably two weeks before. Yeah. And we're all drunk at Poplar arguing, like, well, we should go this We're taking way. this. We can't turn down that road. That road And sucks. then when we did it— um, it was perfect. It was so and there was so many riders. Like There's a lot so of people. So many people from all over the state. place. Um, and it turned out so good. And I just only hope that this year is as even as good or uh, or better. Mm -hmm. For sure. And um, uh, it's cool to watch. Like when I post my uh, a flyer, um, people that I've never talked to are like, "Can't wait!" And it's yeah. like, that's, "We'll be there." We that's already wig. booked our Airbnb. Yeah. Well, we already people, booked our hotel. People will send know? me DMs like, "Where should I stay?" I'm like, "Dude, Salt Lake's tiny. Pick yeah. anywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. within like, like ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah you're ten sure. minutes from the valley." Everybody thinks that we're like. 
It's this they don't know what to think of like Utah. Texas, you know, LA. We're all close. Yeah. We're all close. <laughs> yeah. But it's dope. Um, the swarms are a thing. Hopefully, like, hope they got to uh, beat the heat in Phoenix. Beat the heat, Ride Phoenix. Ride Legends. Yeah. Um, L.A. Uh, killer uh, rides. 422, and, they got lap for leg up in Tahoe yes, coming sir. down, too. Shout out That's Jay Brew and, and yep. shout out leg. Yep. Um, but it's cool to even be a part of that because, like I said, it only works when, uh, when you show love people also you show love back. and it was really cool to see all the people that came the hard thing is uh uh what dates are people because we a lot of these killers uh are part of max's uh ride and destroy rides mm -hmm. and um and scheduling around those and the bell brawl yeah the bell you the know what i mean trying to get the heads that are willing to come uh to space to where they can come at the beginning of the season at our beginning of the season they're already deep in season they've yeah. already been so, ripping for three months right you know? so yeah. it's like uh heard the whole summer trying yeah. to trying to find the right Winter. dates is dates is, are hard man i dates mean we, are hard. we've been there's trying always, to, not to yeah, step there's on always stuff going on sure. we've been yeah. trying to plan some dates for our events and it's like you it's start like, when do we do it it's like there's we'll, there's already shit going on like right, every yeah. weekend you almost have to plan it like last six year, months in advance to hold your spot not you know? even because you can't even hold a spot we're not big enough to hold a spot yeah, we're not that's why i reached out to max and uh i appreciate his uh input and yeah. understanding and and uh and uh, um acceptability if i if i can say but like the first year we scheduled it but there was a san diego show or something like that a week before and it's like those guys aren't going to double like we also have jobs all yeah, of us, you got right? you got regular life. So you to live, can't take right? a San Diego trip and then also go to Utah. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. finding those week. dates, I talked with Max. He was super cool. Told me his dates. Um, I think we're two weeks out away from all the things. We'll see what happens. But the cool thing is showing uh, uh, kids that aren't even part of all that big group. Because all the big heads that, that we're tied in with are, are like, dude, I wish I could. Mm -hmm. um, but the amount of people that did come was insane. We had. I, it's hard to put a number on it. We had one of those films where all the riders, you know, ride past the camera. It was, or whatever. Yeah. It was, it was like over a minute, minute long. long. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. just people riding past the camera. I remember the whole seeing time. all the videos. Yeah. But like, what's crazy yeah, is like cool. riding, or, uh, not riding, destroy. Um, uh, ride of Legends. That was my first ride, right? And I'm like mind blown. All I could do was like seat stander the whole fucking time because I wasn't killing it. Didn't have no crowd control. And I remember we got we, all of a sudden we hopped on the freeway. I was like, where the hell are we going? And we're in like. LA which is insane for me already but we hop off the freeway get just do a u-turn get back on the freeway I kid you not I swear it was like seven minutes I'm going back this way on the freeway and there's still people coming this way Ride of Legends is insane, insane. Really? like I saw you are in the pack and there is I stopped to get gas and it was like I was like, I was like, gotta hurry. It's like, yeah. no, dude. No, you don't <laughs> have to hurry. <laughs> there's like 10 like miles of bike coming behind it's you. Bro, when insane. you pull up, like, it's a lot of sport bikes and there's a lot of Harleys too, but like, Ride of Legends is like, that's why bro, there the freeway. is a guy here, a guy here, a guy here, like all around you. So if you pull up, you better have control yeah, you of your bike back. because if you don't, uh, you're gonna kill of, somebody. Most 100%. people are just riding. Like, most, most people, people are just cruising. cruising. You go to the front of the pack, you'll see the killers. I went up there like, 10 seconds i was like i do not belong here back <laughs> drop <laughs> he's like i'm doing doubles uh foot pegs yeah, i can't nope. be up here i'm gonna kill somebody but that's when it all changed for me like watching all that and watching the killers um the mid pack you know all the way to the back um that so was what, that was crazy let me ask you this where where would you put yourself are you in the back of the pack are right you now i'm all the way up front, front? i'll i'll you, be you put in yourself the front, up front? I'll, i don't i don't care where i'm at i'll yeah. pull my sh I'll pull mine up and now I have crowd control. Uh, even like sometimes when we're at our ride, um, just our Taco Tuesdays, uh, I'll be slaying it up front for a long time, but I'll drop back just to give these Get people, in, yeah. give these people a visual and I'll pull, pull mine up if someone's right there, just cause I'll be able to stop. Play with it right behind somebody who's just cruising 30 the miles an is, hour. Is, you know? uh, a lot of people don't understand like, well, usually we'll have a little talk before little and like safety, don't don't do wheelies if you meeting. can't slow down and yep. don't wheelie behind me if you can't slow down for yeah. sure. If you haven't got it locked in the uh, lot, please don't yeah. do it. In the it's streets. not a place to we learn. don't want to have to clean anybody off off the floor. Right. I don't want to get injured by somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, like I've put in a lot of time and effort if I went and work back to, to get to RL, where I'm at. And I'm a ball. And it's like I it's it's hard to. It's I don't know. It's just like you you have to realize that if you if you don't have it, don't try it in the pack, please. Yeah, you know. But like, that's everybody. Everybody that does rides knows to have their talk. 
for sure. Because people yeah. show up and then trying to film and all, you know, every uh, the people that ride rides know that. Um, but but to answer your question uh, today, I've been to ROL twice. Uh, ever since I uh, started working at Harley, I haven't been able to get the damn time off. Yeah. But um, if I went back, I would be, uh, if not right up front, uh, somewhere right behind them, safely. Yeah. Safely. Safely. Yep. That's the biggest thing. Safe no, is number cool. one. Like, safety is key. Like, Even if we want to all do this for the longevity of our lives and the sport, we have to practice safe practices. Yeah. And, and that's, there's a responsibility that comes with how we ride. You know, and everybody thinks like, oh, they're just out there hooning and going crazy. But it's like there's a lot of calculation that goes to like what we're doing. You know, time. she does happen. 100%. What happens in everything, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, shit happens. Yeah. That what? that video, that homie that's sitting on the side, mm. just chilling, mm. and that someone uh, ate shit a mile away, and that bike is riding the wall. Their All, bike has throttle lock on, and it's just going. Well, their bike is high throttle because it's a street bike. Yep. Eh. Snap that guy's leg like a twig, but he was just chilling on the He's side, sitting, hanging I had out. No the idea, and yeah. there's this bike. The crash bar hit him in the leg and snapped it. Um, stuff happens. It's gonna happen no matter what, right? right. No matter For what, sure. if you're stunting or not, even right. if you're just out cruising. Well, Jesse Ryan just went out. Shout out Jesse. Um, I mean that guy's uh, that guy's full sponsor on the road all the time, Pro. riding. Yeah, and um, so- somebody. Uh, he on his, on his like new three lanes 39 mil on his new 250. Yeah. Uh, someone someone landed on the back of him, uh, messed his bike up. Luckily, he was like not terrible, uh, but he got scraped up. And yeah, it's he like, got some rotor, it actually broke his foot. Yeah. even if you are in the front of the pack, um, stuff happens, you know yeah. what I mean? Not every, but it's like keeping it to a minimum. Everybody says, like, Hey, this is part of the game, and it's like. Yeah, but you can't like, ever part get, of the game is like can't go, ever get too comfortable going, you know, going to the lot and putting in the work so you can go ride safely in a pack, you know. Yeah, there's a there's a certain amount of bike control that you need to have before you do for it out sure. on the street exactly. with people all around you. One hundred percent, and that's just a respect thing, right? And for a everybody else thing around. to do, right. you know. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's one thing that we'll cut off real quick. If you come to our rides and uh, and you're new and you're on a street bike and you go power wow. wheelie. Pass yeah. me if no. I hear. Yeah, not yeah. not okay. That's not. Sure. I, mean, I don't want that. That's just gonna end. I don't. Life. I don't know yeah. you. I don't need you filming me right now. Like uh, I have my boys who I'm comfortable with uh, right next to me. Yada yada. Like we got. I got people I behind me and in front of me. Like don't don't pull your phone out and start like. I don't need that footage right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not your. Uh, and I understand maybe you wanting it, but there's a time and a place. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you guys see the scene, the stunt scene, or sport straight up going? Where do you guys see it in five, I, ten years? I honestly? I see it getting bigger. Obviously, it's growing right now. The last few years, it's been a trend. You know, like, I think that uh, Ride and Destroy has it on lock. I think that if anything, um, there could be a drift cross. I think that there could be a um, an actual X Games uh, league of stunting, um, an actual judge. You know what I mean? It's only where it could go. Mm-hmm. Um, it only goes up from where it's at right now. Right. You know, like right now, the coolest thing we have is a street ride. But um, like, I think that the closest to an actual sport of what we do is probably ride and destroy. He just got linked in with Harley Davidson. Mm-hmm. And um, that's huge. And that's it's huge. huge. He's with Especially company for now. The stun- it's like back in the day it's with corporate back when it was like skateboarders were the dirty, grungy, right. like non family oriented. That's Harley like, stunt riders. It was like, now that's the Harley stunt riders. Now we're all trying to market ourselves, be a little bit cleaner, you know, be able to market to, Go, fa- go factory for, for Harley Davidson stunts. Like, I mean, why not, right? Yeah. It only makes sense. Dude, there is a lane for everybody in this yeah. in this sport, you know? And this the sport the has so much. The only thing that, that wouldn't make sense is that it's on Harleys. So, like, how many factories could you have? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the thing is, like. Like, how, how that's the thing is how is deep it, Like, if go? you're talking, like, a factory team, right. or, you know, a it's team of factory what, riders. Bunch of like, factory team Harley riders. I mean, but, when is. When but is, who's to say that, like. There's you gotta know, be teams. But there's know? not gonna be a team that's a, a backed by a Saddleman uh, or team. Legends or, sure. or exactly. whatever. There's you know so what I mean? much potential and there's more money in this industry than we all think there is. Because it only like, takes time. Yeah. yeah, like the skate industry went through the same thing, right? There was like skateboard manufacturers Peralta, who had teams. Right. For sure. Yeah. But then there were like little like skate shops yep. who had teams. 
Like it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have yeah. to be a big the mother that's right. factory yeah. every time. I yeah. think yeah. that if we keep growing it and uh, Max takes the bulls or takes the bull by the horns, um, I think that it could go into a sport. I think that it could lane off into, like I said, drift cross. Uh, my guy Longhorn um, out in Cali, uh, he was like, "Dude, set these tires out and start." setting up a course and start going around them Dude, as I fast think as you can. I, I actually like, never like, thought about that, like, but I dig that yeah, idea. Like that's barrel sick. racing on a horse, but on a goddamn on Harleys. I think that idea is sick. I've never even There's thought so about that. There's so much potential that, that it's that, not like, funny. Because that, like, starts to come in. Because I'm like, like, I'm a racer, right? Like, I yeah. just love racing. So you want to see so lap like, times. Yeah. 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 You want to see lap times. I want to see head-to-head. I want to see two dudes go out and, like, race. But he started talking about whoever wins first, and it's like, dude, whoever's in front is going to be in front. But drifting then, is yeah. fast. I think drifting. that it should be set up as in cars, a drift, a drift competition like FD and all points. that. Points, yep. style. Don't go straight. Yeah, all brakes, Get it all sideways, gas. Bars locked. Ah, low. Da, 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 da. Yeah, like there's going to have to be. If you go straight, deduction. Yep. You know what well, I mean? Exactly. Yeah, and like if so your one wheels, back tire spinning the whole one time. Yeah, time or, that's yep. one thing. Like if your back tire like or stops, it's like spin, point like deduction, like, like burning out. Like yep. that's the thing. That so deduction. is it going to be a race or is it going to be uh, a points on? I think both, man. Both. I would run both. Like, like if well, you have a panel of judges judging right. it, and there's 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 like points one for, at a time or two people. I think it should be. Yeah, I you're judged on time, style, skill, technique, go. right? All yep. these things, all and then you like you get a score. Because like. in FD, it's not on time. It's one person at a time. You got to hit your blocks, uh, your sections. The gate. Yep. Uh, no, the yeah, there's uh, a gate the that check. you have to be sideways through. Right. Yep. Correct. So that'd be sick. Dude. There's yeah. different ways first, to look at it. There's so much potential in the potential. sport because it's so new. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, most of these OGs that have been riding these Harleys and are the top dogs in the sport. Look at racing. We're on. We're, we're in the mix of we're it. On, we're on sport mm -hmm. bikes for like ten years. Right. You know, and then they got onto the Harleys, and then and and now Harley Davidson stunt uh, scene is just like. It kind of is like kind of just going, and it doesn't. I, I don't know if it really knows where it's going, but it's, it's going somewhere. It's you know? awesome for the scene, and it's awesome for motorcycles because it's just a whole new lane that we're creating. Well, and that's the thing, and I think the same as racing. Like, like the the hard part is is like at the end of the day, like to have an event like that, like you you it has to like be profitable, right? right? Like it like not maybe profitable, but at least pay for the expense of. Right, 100%. all the back but I end think stuff. Right? Like, like, the, I think that Harley as a whole has. Uh, I'm sure that their stock has gone through the roof these last few years. Just the younger generation is starting to tweak it a little. The bit. weird part is, is it's hard because um, what I just said is kind of uh, iffy because we're doing what we're doing on old ass bikes. <laughs> Yeah, you're not you're not going to the <laughs> it's not, dealership it's not, and buying a brand it's new not bike. But also look at the stock. new FX RST. Like. We're raising companies' parts for these old ass bike stocks, right? Like uh, Harley Davidson has probably uh, seen, if anything, except for the guys that want a Dyna that go and buy a, a new lowrider, um, they're probably not seeing much as a as a growth. But um, obviously, but it's, it's part of the culture as the a culture, whole. The culture, and that 100%. is the legacy of it, and and the whole as what a what a motorcycle is worth well, with a V twin. Well, Both. it's like the value of of you know, like say flat track, right? right? Like I mean, you go to Sturgis, you you could watch flat track every day of the week up there for during sure. Sturgis week, right? Like they're not necessarily like driving sales. No, like, like no. they're not even riding. I feel stock like that's motorcycles, like a, but they're part of all those dudes who buy brand new motorcycles ride there to, to see, that. see that type Correct. of stuff. Correct, for sure. Correct. So there's there's an opportunity there yes. to put on a show. It's more of the legacy of and the whole um, as building a um, a want behind it. I think that's the hard. That'll be the hard part to get to Harley involved. Make that make sense for them because there's a there's a but, disconnect there. Uh, Max made it happen. Uh, the company is involved in what he's doing, and that's the first step. For sure, I yeah. feel like that's the first step for what we do and what we love. Um, and he, Max is pioneering that stuff. He's 100%. literally he's doing a really he's good right job here too. from he's Salt Lake City. It. Shout out Max. Yeah, yeah. Riding big shout out Max yeah. because he, he we're puts trying to get him on here. On. We're trying to get him on the podcast. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah. he'd be a good one to have on yeah. for sure. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah he would. Yeah. So because he's, he's got doing, a lot of he's doing more for the scene. Like there's no one else that's doing what he's doing. Literally nobody. And uh, he no, started from from, no. from right here, and uh, he has the best riders uh, out there competing, and it's small. And the trophies that those guys win, um, 
only are gold to those guys who win. You yeah. know what I mean? But uh, it'll only create something bigger. Yeah. No, I think it's cool. I mean, I think, and that's cool. I mean, like the whole drift thing and or whatever. I like, think that there's a sport involved. There's, I mean, there's it just definitely has to potential grow, there for sure. There's a lot of lanes that haven't opened yet that will open that will take the sport in multiple different yeah. directions. I think. Yeah, I've had a lot of talks. My guy Sean uh, Longhorn out. He's uh, he's a factory mechanic for Yamaha. He was Bubba Stewart's mechanic, mm -hmm. and he told me he's like, dude, I've been talking to this. He's he's tied in with everybody, um, but he told me he was last summer. He was like, dude, go set tires out right now and start practicing, because I'm I'm trying to make this shit happen, and and we did. Um, but then again, it, it draws back to me. I, I remember being like, dude, I'm not here to be the best. I'm just having fun. You know what I mean? But the competition, it, it changes things. It changes things. And there's no competition for me right we, now. But we say but that, if, but we all right, I are am competitive. Hungry. Like if I have the opportunity, I'll eat. But here, Here's the thing, though. Here's in my opinion. The, the competition can be good because like if you're trying to grow it, like the way to grow it is to ha get more eyes correct, on you and more sure, inter correct. you know, People love it. And like, it will get kind of boring to just see dudes doing wheelies and burnouts in a oh, pit. For but sure. The, the pro progress but is the, crazy. The competition. Gets more. Like, the competition then you can have a rivalry, makes it much more right? engaging right. and, and uh, entertaining for like, sure. Like there's more, there's more ways to keep, sure. keep and then people companies, engaged. And that's when, for sure. that's when us stunt riders start making money. For sure. And yeah. that's like the end goal. But it's like if that shit does happen, we, for us here in Utah, are leading it. So like we, you know what I mean. I want to put my fist in the in the circle. For sure, I think the competition has to be taken. Like, it's you got to be careful because it can ruin things. Right. But it can also like help drive. It can make it more marketable. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Like, I mean, for the companies, you can create this like online, like little feud between you two. Yeah. That like, oh, dude. Now I'm like, now, now I have to like, a buzz. I'm, I'm, I'm team Corey and, and Jordan's team Gary. And it was like, oh, no, man, my dude's going to kill him right. this week. Sure. I mean, you know it what I mean? Only goes, sure. It only creates yeah. a fuzz. Just, yeah. Right. So maybe we should do that on purpose. Some, uh, like dude, that, sounds, that sounds like some rapper <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, just, like, <laughs> we can do some shit. Sure. Some fake beef. Some fake beef. Some Instagram fake beef. beef. Dude, I'm not about it. <laughs> uh, let's switch gears here a little bit. I guess a little bit. Tell me about your bikes, your bike setups. Hell like yeah. so, like my if bike's we're, if we're way talking, sicker than Gary's. <laughs> <laughs> this fool has no, it, flames like, on his bike. Dude, if there's, you if ever there's seen a Harley kid, with flames on it? Yeah. <laughs> well, let let's start with this. Tell me your current bike setup. Tell me what you would do differently, and then tell me if I was a kid, if I was a 19 year old kid sitting at one of your stunt shows and said, "I want to get into this," what would you tell me to do? So I'm rocking uh, the last two seasons. I've been rocking a 2006 Dyna Street Bob. Worst year. Um, stop. <laughs> is. It is too. People will say that is the worst, worst year, year only because it's, uh, it's, it's kind a, of an off year. It's you know, a it's, a, it's, year. A, it's a 2000. It's a fuel injected bike with a six speed <coughs> kind of, kind of a 80, uh, 88 cubic inch. So with a six speed. Um, with a six speed. Yeah, it's kind um, of a half breed, huh? It is a half breed, but she is. It's true. never given him any issues. That she has runs. been a true bike. Everybody talks shit on these People things. People say but that, but this thing runs. is a true bike. I've put in three OEM clutches in it, um, but I, I have yet to touch the motor since, until this year. So it's been a stock 88, and I've been ripping the shit out of it. It's got 50,000 miles on it, and I'm just now diving into the motor. Right. And I have held that thing off the limiter for probably 25, 30 minutes. Do you ever wonder, of like, not, dude. like, probably more? Yeah. If it has 50,000 miles on it, like, do you ever wonder like how many miles were in a wheelie? It's actually moved compared to like oh, the yeah. odometer. To the burnout uh, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Dude, I, I'm sure we, I've taken we, off a few hundred miles doing burnout almost, and stuff. We for almost sure. had a competition uh, at the shop, but I don't have a speedo, so I didn't enter it. But it was like a mile competition. I was like, dude, I'll smoke you guys. <laughs> My bike is going <laughs> in places, oh, but yeah. it's not. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, I don't know. I rocked this. I rocked the stock eighty eight for two years, and I honestly love that bike. I drove it to Mexico. I took it on the highway one. I'm not just a stunter. I love riding long distance. So still, I love hopping still on. Cruising on. I still cruise. I that is my daily driver. That is my touring bike, and that is my stunt bike. And she has been tried and true. Um, like I said, Mexico Highway One. I taken it to Durango, Colorado. I've taken it all over the place. And it's know? a girl. It's a girl. Her name's Darla. 
Yeah, she's beautiful. Darla I don't know how Diana. I feel about guys who name their bikes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she kind of just earned that one, you know, Darla. You know, Mine's I love her. Piece of shit. But, <laughs> so fu- I finally, you know, blew up the transmission and the bottom, the crank. I can feel it was throwing some vibration to to my bars and yeah. stuff, you know. So it's a tired motor. Um, so this year I'm building a. I just got all my. My frame's chrome now. My swing arm's chrome. It's I got gonna be my, sick this year. It's going to be sick. I'm are doing a 103. Are you keeping the purple? Yep, tins are going to be purple. It's going to be fine. Fl- um, doing a 103 build with a feeling cam chest with a 543 cam, um, new transmission, pretty much full top to bottom build mm-hmm. um, instead of sitting at the stock like 60, 65 horsepower that I'm used to, which I really love. I want more power. You know, like I find myself like kind well, of under load. You watch like, where leave it, a you turn. Know? And then yeah. you watch us leave a turn. And it's, it's much like, different. What the fuck? <laughs> so now I'm going to be m- working with a bike that, you know, 100 horsepower around yeah. that area. So for I'm me, pretty excited. For me, um, uh, the thing is, is I've touched every piece on my bike except my triple trees, uh, frame, and swing arm. And uh, to be honest, I think I've overbuilt my bike. Um, I put Brembo's on front and rear, yada, yada. Now my brakes are too touchy. I had to get used to them. Um, you watch all these guys that are way better than me, all stock brakes. Um, I have not, I, I, I was almost rebuilt my whole motor crank up to stock because I was so diehard of, of like 88 all you need and it's reliable, right? It is true. Yeah. Um, but I did go up to 95 and I'm so happy I did. It's perfect. 95 keeps your walls thick um, and it gives you the power that you really want mm-hmm. once you're good at riding. Um, if I was to tell a kid what he needed right now is uh, just pop your clutch and try to wheelie. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, sure. I had kids, I had some of my friends when I first bought this Sportster, and it was, uh, you know, 11-inch shocks in the rear, sissy bar. I bought it because it had T-bars. I was like, that's what I want. Gotta have and it, But it was set up like a, a chopper pretty much. And they were like, dude, you need to do seat. You need to do cams. You need a chain. You need suspension. You need you're like you're not gonna wheelie that thing. You don't need all that. And I stood on it and I, I put my foot on my CC bar and did a wheelie like for a while. And um, the the biggest thing is is gonna be put some taller shocks on and get T bars. You don't need a don't saddleman. do don't do saddleman you, first. Don't do exhaust don't do chain, first. Don't do yeah, none of that. I matters. still run belt. I, ro- I rocked on the belt both for my three bikes. years. Really? Yeah. I still run belt. Yep. I'll run a belt until it breaks, and it hasn't yet. My that belt's probably twenty years old. A lot of these homies won't even try wheelies until they got the belt. And yeah, the, the chain, and, and, the, then the, the, and, the and then and then the they're like, the "Well, deal. my bike's super touchy." It's like, yeah, well, it's fast. You can as wheelie fuck. a stock Harley <laughs> Davidson. Hell yeah. yeah. The freaking bullhorns and the 11 see, and a half inch shocks uh, and all. East you can Coast do it. boys on the wide glide, big bars, doing shit that, yep. uh, that Reckless Joe 3, shout out. R- yeah. Repping his out dad's Reckless. wide glide. Yep. Um, don't overbuild your bike. You don't need parts to ride. Just ride. What's the perfect... Perfect platform. What bike? What model? Early model Dyna. Early model Dyna. No, I like. I like. I wish I had fuel injected. My dream bike is a 0405 fuel injected FXDX. But that's still 39 millimeter. Yeah. So 39 that's my, millimeter. That's my Dyna. dream bike. Yep. Fuel injected 39 millimeter. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the only thing goofy is that seat angle. Uh, it is different on that 0405. But, um, compared to the 03 or the 06? Compared to the 03 and the 06. The 03 or the, the early models before 0405 just has this weird seat angle. It goes like that instead of straight up. Um, but it's got the, it's the way I like to compare it. I got this from who knows who on Instagram, but it's like a 250 and a 450. My uh, my 2000 is a 250. Mine's his bike a is a 450. The but frame is bigger. His is like 49 his millimeters. Like a, his like a 230 trail bike because he's got 88. <laughs> well, I got a 103. Coming, all right, I'm gonna have 100 horsepower. So Dyna Dave, he's got the 103. Yep. Fuel injected. Uh, I remember Sheets. he was struggling to sc- scrape, and I fucking hopped on his bike. I was like, dude, that. Boom! I was yep. like, that thing is dialed. What my bike is? Uh, uh, 13, 15, 15, yeah. 13, 15, okay. you know, so something like that. Frame. Yeah. yeah, new frame, 06 up, um, fuel injected, 103, lots of, I mean, more power than I got, um, fuel injected. Fuel well, injected made, is uh, good. I'm pretty sure they made a fuel injected Dyna in like 02, 03. No, it's 0405. That's the 0405. Uh, are you sure? You probably know more than I do, but I know that there's baggers 0203 that are fuel injected, but I don't know. I I guess I'd have to go back and find it. It's the 2004, and 05 is the first year they did fuel injected on the twin cam 88. Okay. And um, 
but they also made an FXDX in that year. Yeah. So that's like that's the one. When kids tell me like what's what's the bike? It's the FXDX. You, you come stock with dual, um, mm -hmm. better suspension, yada yada. Better, which yeah. the only thing that's good about those bikes because we change everything anyways. Yeah. But the only thing that's good is you don't got to go and spend uh, two grand on uh, a, f a dual disc front dual setup. Disc front end, but yep. there are kids. Don't let that hold you back. Don't go searching single for disc. I'm rocking single desk and I can rock third gear rolling burnouts I'm telling for you, two you miles don't straight. need dual you know, disc. You don't, no, um, you don't. And then I went and put Brembo's on and now every time I touch my brake, I'm about to endo. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, don't overbuild your bike. Fucking put a seat. You don't need to put twenty G's in your bike on. to do stunts. Yeah. Well, you put twenty grand into it, and now you don't want to. Now you now don't, don't want to mess it up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. Is, yep. is there's and a few We key have homies that are like that. They've built their bikes all out, and now they're like, oh well. I would well, say then. though, if if you are somebody that wants to get into the Harley stunt get scene, get a Sportster, a rigid mount, early model. Or early 2000s Ridge Roadster. Mount Sportster, you know? Roadster's the same as that DX. It's got your dual disc, your better suspension, yada, yada. But the only thing that the Roadster and the DX have that the regular bikes have is one extra rotor because you're going to do different shocks. You're yeah. going to do yada, yada. Different and that's the only thing it comes with is shocks and, a, and an extra Just rotor. Just an easier. You don't have to worry about converting right, that later. Right, And you yeah. really don't need to. Get a, F get a, get a low rider. The cool thing about low riders is when you're 12 o'clock, it looks like you're two o'clock because your forks are like this they have a different mm -hmm. rake yep you know what i mean your forks are pointed straight at the sky when you're barely scraping right mm -hmm. that's the only thing different some uh i mean one of the sickest riders out there um what uh what's his name in australia sammy yeah sammy taylor sam taylor sam sam taylor yep. and sammy in arizona shout out sammy those fools ride low riders but their fenders are cut deep 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 but it looks like their fenders are pointing backwards or just excuse the me, geometry of the yeah bike the completely geometry different of the bike. really the it's new insane. bikes yeah i remember a lot of the east coast and boys used to ride all the low riders and i'm like these guys are insane because they're forks like, like uh dude david kelso scrape goat dude yeah. this fool does scrapes longer than any fool you've ever seen do a scrape like he will do yeah. it for a mile he so like, does he and that's does. not an exact he's like big old lanky guy just I remember that fool was hand dragging before for me over a football like, field. We measured it one time. It was not over a nobody, a football field. but like in the stunt scene, he's nobody quiet. knows. He's him. quiet. Nobody and knows he who he is. But he got me into Harley's. Like he's the man. One hundred percent killer. Yep. Yeah, so. for bike setups, for you guys who want to get into it, dude, buy a Sportster, Sportster. put drag specialty socks on, and a built well twelve inch bars, and go ride. You think twelve? Yeah. So I rock six inch risers. Well, pull for back people with a that are new. That's still pretty It's tall. just an easy setup. I'll argue with him on this. Go lower. I, I rock 6'2". <laughs> Go lower. He's, he's tall. 6, 3-inch rise, I'm 10. But I like low. Yeah, you're not wrong. But that's the first thing I did, and, and you'll feel Can comfy. Can you go too high? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bars? anything Think above 12. Think about when you're in a 12 o'clock. If you got bars that are coming off the triples this far, your bars are going to be above your head like this. If you have bars that are on a 6-inch rise... Your hands are right, right here. Then it doesn't feel as steep, and it's a lot more manipulable. That's the 12-inch bar. Form. And the the built well bar that I'm speaking of is a one piece cheapest part, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I'm speaking it's of like people who are forty bucks, yeah. uh, if that. If that, yeah. But for a riser bar setup, ten with a three inch rise, that's as big as you want to go. That's huge. That's it's too still big. Still twelve. That's too big. I'm just saying. So that's you want to go like into it. six inch to the eight inch with like a mid to low bend bar. That's what I would say. Well, I'm sure that there's like. A lot of rider preference, to right? One hundred percent. I don't know why low, he's saying that because he's five feet tall. So I'm just saying what I. <laughs> that's what I got when I first rode. It is, is a twelve inch bar. That's doing, what everybody you were also hears. Also doing double standards on the back pegs. And I was saying with you, twelve inch bars. You also, <laughs> you also looped out on my back road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First time I met Gary, I was like, all right. First time I ever met. Let's this go one to my life, dude. I pulled up up front. Hot shit. Hot and shit. Uh, I think I was still running Shinko. Let's talk about tires too. Yeah, if tires we're, too, if we're talking sure. about people who want to learn, real quick though, who want to learn how to ride um, or getting into it, uh, I had a Shinko. Uh, I couldn't get it up for a second, so I went, wa da da, boom, and my ice. It was like someone grabbed my feet and like slapped me on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the funniest things I ever saw in my life, dude. Thank God my fender was cut deep from the previous owner, like way way too deep to scrape at that time. And um, thank goodness, though, because I went all the way back and I thought I was going to, like, I was like, oh, you no. You thought you were going to hit the, the. I thought I was going to catch yeah. the bar and it caught and then went that way. Um, and I had I have a good video of it. My ass hanging out of my pants. Um, 
his barge all that, tweaked, <laughs> like all messed up. Within the first was fifteen riding, minutes of me mi- like meeting this homie, <laughs> first I'm like, hell yeah, he's like, ripping. All of a sudden, <laughs> boom, fun's over, boys. I really like, around the rest of the day like this. It was, like, so it was all the classic, and I was just fuck. thinking, this fool. Like, yeah, really <laughs> <laughs> Corey easy doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, always call, I always call him Easy Doesn't ever since that. And nobody gets it when I say that, but Easy Doesn't. No, they all get it. <laughs> Everybody gets it. Now. Everybody gets it. Yeah. Everybody gets it. Let's go. Oh, that's funny. So, yeah, tires. Tell me tires, about tires. man. If you want to learn how to wheelie, run a Shinko. Shinko. But don't do burnouts on a Shinko. You'll blow up your transmission. But or you'll blow clutch. out your pulley. Or your pulley. I've, I've been through so many wheels. I'm, I'm dealing with it right now. He just I, blew his wheel out, what, Thursday? I thought Tuesday? it was cool to get. 2118 three piece wheels, yada yada. It's the cool thing to do right now. Well, I was like, fuck, I, I, I was wheeling down the state after a big ride and I felt it immediately. Thank God I did because I saved it. But I was like, nope, something's not right. Pull over, lost my pulley. Um, luckily, I was like right in front of the Harley shop, literally like 33rd State Street. So I, I pushed it over that way, uh, got back to the shop, but now my hub came off my wheel and and stretched all the holes you see that a lot here so, you fixed one a long time ago you, I've, I've done three I've your brother three pulley. your yeah. brother gave me a pulley way early when that shit happened yeah because i was trying to learn burnouts on a shinko um and it doesn't ripped work. my wheel off. snapping things yeah, yeah. yeah. if you, you want to break shit for sure to end tires if you want to learn how to wheelie shinko 777 if you want to learn how to drift burner uh d401 throwaway D402, D401. You Metzlers. hold your front brake, and on a D401, you will spin tire. Shinko front. Because um, it grips? Shinko, it's the softest, cheapest tire. Yep. It'll wear quick, but it's soft and sticky. Shinko on the front, no matter what. You can trust it. You can trust the Shinko. You know? Yeah. Um, D401 rear to slide, Shinko 77 to wheelie. Don't try the opposite on those, because you if you're trying to figure it out, I run D401 all day now, because I know how to get my bike up. But if you try to wheelie on a D four one, you probably won't do it. You're just probably you, gonna smoke the tire, yeah, right? Yeah, you're no, just gonna sure. spin it. I think the best tire out there is the Michelin Commander three. It's all such around, a good all tire, around, all around. Yeah. But yeah. not good if you're everything. starting. Not if you're starting. Yeah, like, you don't want to learn on that. But once you have, if it, you want to learn to wheelie, wheelies seven seven seven. But don't try burnouts on a seven seven seven. You'll fuck your bike up. Well, yep, one hundred percent. Learn from experience on that one. Yeah, learn from these guys' mistakes. That's cool too. That's what we tell kids. Like, I'll have a kid at the lot trying to wheelie, and I'm like, "What tire do you have?" And he's like, oh, I don't know, stock. And it's like, yeah, you're not going to wheelie today. Yeah. <laughs> you might do a couple burnouts. Yeah. If you Okay, yeah. so what you should do now is hold your front brake and try and do a burnout. Yeah. Yep. Cool. It goes down. Yeah, I think this year uh, I'm planning on doing some wheelie clinics because the really? scene is growing pretty, pretty fast. There's a lot of people that want some one-on-one attention or group attention. So I think there's not a whole lot of people out there doing it. Shout yeah, out Bridger Murdoch. He wants a, a one-on-one session. I'm like, dude, all you got to do is come down. Yeah. If you actually come down and hit me up, like, tell me, I'll come ride with you. Yep. But just put in the seat time, and sometimes people don't know what to think about. You know, they're like, well, what do I like? They don't know where to start, you know, what to think about and stuff. Not so all gas. Sometimes just giving the fundamentals, you know, coaching a little bit, a little coach, a little take the guy under your wing and – Hey, do this. Don't do this. These are things you do not do. You know, I always tell the people, don't do these. And finding out what to do is much easier. You know? mm-hmm. If any of you guys are from Utah and you want to learn how to wheelie, hit us up because uh, we're willing to show you how it yeah. goes. I want to see the scene as big as possible. I get less shit from the cops if we have, like, 20 people out there. You yeah. know? Like, know if it's just that. me and Corey. <laughs> <laughs> if it's just me and Corey, the cops are hot on our case. Yeah. If it's 20 of us, you know, they kind of just... All right, you boys are all right. Yeah. You know? So, speaking of that, like, what's I'm some s- of the hottest water you guys have gotten in on some of your uh, rides? I got a good story. You want to tell I don't know if I want to you? tell mine. <laughs> I'll tell this story because it happened in California, um, allegedly. We'll, we'll use that word. We'll say California. California. Um, so, I was out in California. It was, like, probably, it was my first time out ever out at, like, Santa Cruz and these cool areas, you know? Tourist, it's like when you picture California, this is what you picture Monterey area, Santa Cruz, beautiful beaches, whatnot. Um, so I'm out there with Ruthless Willie, shout out Ruthless Willie, um, in Santa Cruz with his brother. And uh, at this point, like I was getting decent at wheelies, I could do like I could drop it back and scrape and like have a good time and uh, hold, you know, have control of the bike and stuff. But we roll into Santa Cruz, and if anybody's ever been to Santa Cruz, have you guys, have you been to Santa Cruz, mm-hmm. California? Have you? 
think so. Okay, so Santa Cruz is a one way in tourist trap. You go one way in, it's a boardwalk, it's it's beaches, it's surfing, it's lighthouses, it's just the vibe, you know? And it's one way out. Back onto the PCH, which is the Pacific Coast Highway, Highway One. Um, so we're all in Santa Cruz. We ripped to Santa Cruz. This is the first time I ever meet up with these boys. I'm like, I seen them on Instagram. I see them shredding. I'm like, these boys are sick. Like they're the California boys that hold it down. So I go out with these homies. Um, we go to Santa Cruz. We're ripping the boardwalk, fucking destroying shit. Like there is to tourists and in Santa Cruz, it's like kind of a quieter area. Like it's kind of you know a lot of a lot of Democrats and liberals. So people are calling the cops hard. You know, so we're out there. Ripping burnouts on the, on the uh, boardwalks and shit, and people are. I can see people on their phones calling cops. You can see who's pissed off and who's not. People taking photos, calling cop, or on the phones and stuff. Um, so we stop. We st we stop at this little lookout area and look. Out, we're just watching the ocean, just watching the sunset and stuff, and uh, um, like blazing up, hanging out, and just enjoying ourselves. And we go to leave. And we stop at this gas station and the gas station, you know, it's the, the sun's starting to set. It's like probably eight, nine at night. Sun's starting to set. And we're like, hell yeah, I'm about to rip home. You know, that was a fun sesh. We got it. You know, we left our mark, you know, this marks on this town right now. So uh, fill up and we hit this light and it's the light before like we get off on the freeway to get back out of Santa Cruz to get on the Pacific Coast Highway. Um, so we're at this light and I look back and we had just destroyed the town. Like it was like, it was crazy. We were doing donuts, doing wheelies, like, and it's a quiet town. So we just, you know, got it all rowdy. Um, and I look back at this light and there's like three cars behind me, but behind the third car, I can see a California highway patrol, like over the white lines, like sitting like in the center of the lanes, you know, and he's all checking us out. And I was like, Oh shit. Like, here we go. You know, homie's going to, so I tap on uh, Ruthless Willie's shoulder. I was like, yo, there's a cop back here. I was like, take it easy. And he's like, follow me. You know, and I was like, oh, shit, here we go. And uh, sure enough, light turns green. And the cop pulls up around all those cars on the shoulder, gets right behind us and lights us up. And I was like, oh, shit. Stefan or Ruthless Willie looks back, flips the cop off and was like, Gives him the egg on. I was like, no way. You crazy. Like, I'd never seen anything like this in my life. I was like, bro, I'm from, like, Mormonville, dog. Like, people know I should do shit like that out there, you know? And I'm thinking, oh, my God, this fool is a savage. So the cop, boom, lights on, is chasing this fool. And I look over at um, Ruthless Willie's brother, um, something chaos, unrest chaos on Instagram. Um, look over at him, and I was like, what do you want to do, dog? And he's like, let's flip around. So we flip a Yui, and we, and we, like, start going back the other way. And I was like, hell yeah, we're all good. You know, we're chilling. All of a sudden, whoa, Stefan rips past us. He went down and flipped a Yui and, like, came back up the road, you know? So I was like, oh, shit, here comes the cop, <laughs> you know? Woo, 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 like, the siren's on. And at this point, I'm like, I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. So I'm like, I blow through this red light with all these boys, and I'm like, well, I already broke the laws now, so now I, like, got to go with these boys. These boys are on like 110 inch hopped up SNS motors. I'm on my little stock 88 Slow as baby. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you know, like this ain't good. Like this ain't good. So they take off and I see them like take this turn and I like get up to that turn and then they're like getting it, bro. They're like way ahead of me at this point and this cop is on me. And I'm like, are you kidding me, bro? This is you bullshit. Took like 20 minutes, didn't you? Or oh, something? bro, it was for days. So. I see them. I see them hop on this road and then like get to this freeway entrance and start ripping up towards Watsonville. It's like where these homies live. So I'm like, well, shit, I'm gonna fucking rip up that way too. And we hop on the uh, PCH and I am ripping, bro. And that day I put new mags on my my shit and I didn't have all the spacers and shit right. So my bike is like, my bike does like going like this, bro. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die tonight. Like I'm gonna straight up die. I was like, I ain't pulling over now. Like I'm gonna get my fucking guns taken away, get a felony, like get my ass beat by this cop. Like screw that, you know. So we take off. And cops like right behind me. I I had my license plate folded up. We were all good. And uh, we hop on the Pacific Coast Highway. Pacific Coast Highway. Everybody knows it's Highway One. Super famous highway. Mm -hmm. Super famous. Like it's the spot, you know. So we're ripping on Highway One, dude. Santa Cruz is always backed up. Anybody who knows Santa Cruz knows that it's always backed up. It's a tourist area. The mile coming in, the mile leaving is all backed up with traffic. So I'm splitting lanes at like 80 miles an hour. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, this is so scary, bro. This is so sketch. And uh, 
I like, I'm like, hell yeah, he ain't gonna be chasing me, you know? I look over. This fool is on the shoulder, bro. <laughs> Ripping the same speed as me. And I was like, no way. I was like, oh my God, he's really out for blood. Like this fool's out to get me right now. Like this is insane. Bro. I, I, I keep ripping. Here, we boy. get we get <laughs> you ain't from around these parts, I can tell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're like ripping up this road. And homie's like, so I get past all the traffic, I split through all the lanes, highway patrol hops behind me, and I'm just like, here we go. Like, and then I thought to myself, bro, I'm on a sketchy ass 88 cubic inch that's shaking as I go 90 miles an hour. I gotta get off the highway. Like, I'm never gonna outrun this dude on the highway ever, you know? So I hit this freaking this turn off and it forces you leave me those right. boys those, those fools left me dog oh, <laughs> they were way they were oh, gone oh, oh, oh. bro they knew the area they were on 110 sns fucking yeah, yeah, rippers yeah. you know so they're gone and i'm and, I, <laughs> and i'm on the highway your ass, yeah dude. and they, they just left, left me and i'd never been there before and i'm like well it's every man for themselves at that point that's just kind of how it goes that's how it is in the streets there's an unwritten rule book you know so i'm going and i take this exit because i was like i'm never gonna get away from this dude on the highway, you know? So, and at this point, like, my only thing, the only reason why I'm running at this point is because I'm like, if the fool catches me, I'm getting a felony. With a felony, sure. you can't own guns and you can't leave the country. I was like, that's not going to happen to me. Like, I'm fucking leaving the country and I'm going <laughs> to own guns, <laughs> you know? Like, that's so, what's going yeah, through your mind. Yeah, as you're literally, 100%, <laughs> that is what's going through my mind. And I didn't want to ass whooping, you know? So I was like, I can't fucking lose or else Rodney he's going to, I'm going to get my ass whooped, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I get through all the lanes. I split through all those lanes and take this exit. And it and the exit forced me right because there was a median. I couldn't even go left, you know? So I forced right. Boom. I, I ripped to the end of the median. Lock up break. Whoa, sick drifting around the median. You know, I was like, oh, that was a sick thing. You know, I was like, oh. High side. And the cop was <laughs> high side, just fly into a bush. The cop was probably thinking, God, this fool's definitely going to get away. <laughs> this fool sucks here. No, writing. the cop was gnarly, dude. So he was for sure out for blood because I went up around the median, flipped a Yui, and I was coming back to like go back towards the freeway. This fool hops over the median, bro. The medians are like this tall. This fool just, just plows pops it. over the median. And I was like, <gasps> and I just lock up my brakes straight right into the car. And I'm like sitting at his sitting at his uh, passenger side door. And I'm just looking at him. Oh and I'm my like, God. I'm backing up my bike. I would have stopped. Like, trying to, cause he's like opening at his door. <laughs> Bro, he's opening his door at this point. And I'm, I'm like, Mexican, dude. I, was, <laughs> I didn't got as good as him. He's like, <laughs> he's like opening his door. And I'm like, this was about to fucking tase me or something. This is so crazy. So I'm like backing up my bike. And I just fucking fuck you. And I flip him off and just take off. Dude. And I'm like, hit hit the on ramp, get back on the on ramp. So now I'm back on highway one. And I'm at this point, I'm just trying to evaluate and trying to think of a plan. And I'm like, keep your composure. Don't do anything crazy. Where do I Don't, go? Like, yeah, where do I? <laughs> I have no idea where I'm at. I've never ridden this area before. This is so sketchy. What are you doing, you idiot? You know, like. So I'm just like, uh, I'm going 60 miles an hour right now on the freeway. And the cop is literally like this far off oh my fender. Oh, my God. And, gosh. bro, when, when the <laughs> sirens are on and the lights are on, well, it early. ain't no joke, dog. Well, it ain't no early. joke. Like, when you hear Dramatic. sirens and you don't pull over, the vibe becomes way, 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 way different. Especially when he's on you your know? ass like that. Especially when they're on your ass like that. You should have seen, like, like, how slow you could go. Well, that's kind of what I, I was like. Yeah, maybe There's I should go like people. forty and then take off. <laughs> There's not enough people to <laughs> but play like that. But I was like going that. like sixty, and I, I was like, okay, I'm just trying to think, like, what do I do, dude? Go and the then all of a sudden, the all of a sudden, bro, I see a, I see a sign, an exit sign that says Freedom Boulevard, and I was oh. like, <laughs> no way! I was like, no fucking way! Ironic enough, Freedom Boulevard. So, dude, I take Freedom Boulevard. <laughs> take it right here. Take it right. <laughs> like a sign right. from above. I, I even put on my blinker. I was like, <laughs> I put on my blinker. I took it right off the I don't freeway. Think he was giving a shit about the yeah, blinker he didn't give at a this shit point. About the, I, he got me for everything in the book at that point. So, like, I'm like, taking it right. So, I take it right. I'm like, getting come off to a complete the, stop. Come to a stop completely. Didn't roll through. Put both feet down. <laughs> you know? So, I stop it. I, I get off this, this Freedom Boulevard, dude. And, and you guys know the lagoon exit where if you get off the, and you go over the highway patrol headquarters is right there. Mm -hmm. Same fucking thing. Oh my so God. I get off the highway and I go over the bridge and there is a highway patrol headquarters right there with like three cops sitting there. And I was like, oh my God. Great. For I'm going to die. You know, so I, <laughs> I rip past them. I'm going as fast as I can. And at this point, we're in the California hills. 
And it ain't, it ain't no joke. It ain't not like West Haven Hill or roads where they're all straight and gridded. You know, this is hills and rolling hills and turns and double yellow lines. And I'm like, no, oh, I'm going to get away. It's going to be on this road. You know, it's Freedom Boulevard, so I got to get away. So at this point, there's like four cops behind me. There's four highway patrols behind me chasing me through these hills that I have no idea. How much time is this? Bro, like a, at uh, this point, I'm probably 10 minutes in. At this point, I'm probably 10 minutes in, 10, 15 minutes he in. He told me this story before, not in this, this in detail, but um, it was, I remember yeah, the it, first time oh, he it, told me the bro, story. It was a bro, long this time. is a gnarly story. Like, this shit is, it's, still got it was like something straight out of a, <laughs> it was like something straight out of a movie, dude. Like, I felt like this is some Grand Theft Auto shit. This is insane, you know? So when What's I had four. you're by yourself. I'm by myself and now you got in the four. hills with nobody. Like, I have no so idea what's the, going on. You know, so, so I'm ripping. I rip past all those homies. Those <laughs> homies pull out, and it's double yellow lines, and we're in the Cali Hills on Freedom Boulevard, whatever, whatever the fuck that means. You know, like, cool. So, surprised they didn't get a chopper on you. Dude, that's what I was waiting for. I was like, I kept looking dude, up. Like, the news. Once the chopper's so there, with. it's like, you're done. You ain't getting away. So you know? With. So, I'm ripping these hills. I'm ripping. I'm probably going 90 miles an hour. Speed limit's like 40, you know? And I'm like, I'm trying to get away, obviously, so I'm ripping. So, I'm ripping. I see a sign that comes up and it was like 45 mile per hour curve, you know, like one of those yellow turns or yellow signs. And I was like, oh, I'm going way faster than 45. So I walk up my back brake and I'm like skidding into this turn and finally just like get up to the turn. And I probably hit it like 60, but, you know, laid through it. I definitely scraped peg through it, hit another turn. And it was like another long straightaway. And I'm just like banging through gears 90 Remind you, I had these fresh mags on that didn't have the right spacers and shit. So my bike is like this Wait. the whole time, bro. Like it was so scary. And then uh, all of a sudden I'm ripping. I'm starting to gain some distance on these guys. And I see a big hill coming up and there's three cars coming down, three cars going up. And I'm like, this is it. I'm going to split those fuckers. You know, like right when those cars pass each other, I'm going to split and I'm like be in front of all these guys and the cops are going to be back there and they won't be able to do nothing. Dude, I split those guys at like 80 miles an hour shaking and... It was like this much room on both sides on double yellow lines. And Scary. it was like so sketchy. And I was thinking, hey, got those cops. And then <laughs> sure enough, cops, when the lights are on, people pull over. <laughs> you know? So these guys just go like this, and the cops just blast through them. And I was like, I'm such a fucking idiot. Like, they're still there, you know? And then I roll into this, I see a sign that said 25 mile per hour curve. And I was going how fast. I was going 80 to 90 miles an hour. And I was like, like later, you know, like I'm about to die. And bro, I literally like walked up my brakes and held onto the oh, front yeah. as much this as I part. could. Yeah, this I, part. I held onto the, the front as much as I could without like washing out. And I literally like look at the turn and I'm still going way too fast. This part. And I like look and I just, at this point, it was like, Jesus, take the wheel, dude. I close my eyes and there goes the turn. And dude, I was like, oh my God. And I like look up. I remember this. And there is a freaking <laughs> bicycle path, dude. With two <laughs> oh, yellow things, like the things you have to walk lying. through to get on a bicycle path. Lying. Two yellow things, bro. And I blast right through them. And I like up over this little curve and I round down and I just turn my bike off. Headlight, bikes off, coast. I remember that. Down this little trail. And I was like, no way, dude. And then all of a sudden, woo, woo, woo. The cops all. And passed no, me and kept going, and I was you like, "Told me that." No way! I was like, "No way! No way!" This Did you hang insane. out there for? Oh, a while? I hang out there for days, bro. I was, there, <laughs> <laughs> I was there for days. I like, dude, I ripped off my hoodie. I, I threw it in this, hell, this field. I took off my helmet. I was taking the Just stickers so off know, my helmet, throwing it off. Piece that has changed. Yeah, no, it, no. This is a legit story, bro. <laughs> uh, and so, so now at this point, I'm like. You know, like my heart's racing. Like, I'm like, damn. I pull out my phone. It's at 1%. And mind you, I don't know where the fuck I am. I never been here before. Like, I pull out my phone and it's at 1%. And I was like, oh, no way. And I hurry up and call my best friend, David. And I was like, David, bro, I just got on a high speed chase. It was the craziest thing in the whole wide world. I was like, call, call Ruthless Lily and tell him I'm off uh, Fleet and Boulevard. Hurry. I was like, my phone's about to die. He's like, no, you're lying. Phone died. <laughs> and I was like, no. So I'm sitting out there in the dark. <laughs> just like yeah, hoodies off, I threw it in the field. I forgot the I'm ending hanging out. of that. I was like waiting. Oh, dude, the, the <laughs> ending's still not done, dog. And uh, so, it's just, so I'm just hanging out there, and I'm like, I'm just gonna let 
forever pass. You know, I don't want to get buzzed by these guys. I'm gonna take a nap or something. Didn't you? No, I didn't. I just chilled there. I just I just chilled there. I was just chilling, and all of a sudden I was like, "Okay, I think I'm good." You know. So I go to get back on my bike, (laughs) and I go to turn the key on. My key's not there. And I was like, what? no oh, way. Yeah. yeah. I was like, no oh, fucking way. I was like, where's God. my key? The story hasn't changed. It's and like, uh, so I was like. It's all coming back to yeah, you now. Oh, no, dude. As, this, as story he's is, going. this is still, this is my most gnarly story of my <laughs> life. Dude. This story is my life story. But uh, so I'm like, no way. My keys, they're gone. And I was like, what the fuck? My keys are not here. And uh, and I was, so I was like, the same I was thinking, question. I was like, dude, there's a house. A couple hundred yards down the down the road. I mean, you know, like we're in the California Hills. There's a nice house up on the hill over it's there. It's dark. It's right like then, right? 30, 10 at night. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, well, I guess I'll walk up to that house and ask if the gentleman has a light. You know, so I walk up to the dude's house and uh, I knock on the door and a dude answers and he's like, hey. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on, man? I was like, I know it's pretty crazy to have visitors out here at this time of night, but. I just took a wrong turn and I dropped my keys out of my bike and I honestly have no idea where I'm at. And I was like, do you have a flashlight I could borrow? And he's like, we don't usually get visitors out here. And I was like, well, you know, like I'm here now. And uh, so he's like, hold on one sec. My boy's in the shower. And I like kind of got the vibe that his boyfriend's in the shower. Not you his know? son. Not his son. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, so he party fell. He he goes inside and he he gets a he gets his phone or whatever he, and he comes back out and uh, I was like dude you can just like give me a flashlight he's like oh I don't have one I'll just come down there with you and I was like okay so we walk down there and uh, I'm letting him walk behind me because I can tell he's getting kind of sketched out and I'm like bro I swear like I'm a straight shooter I'm I'm I just ran in I just took the wrong turn you know I he's was like, like I swear I'm straight yeah. <laughs> I swear I'm straight a straight shooter I'm straight and okay. I'm also a straight shooter <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So uh, he's following me out there. He's got his iPhone. He's following me, you know, and I'm like, I think like it's got to be on this, this bike pass somewhere. And he's like, how'd you even get down here? And I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> I was just like, I have no idea. Like I, I wasn't saying anything, you know? And uh, he's like, okay. And he's like following me up this path. And I probably walk up the path like 20 or 30 yards. And uh, I can tell he's starting to get sketched out. Like he thinks I'm going to fucking beat him up or something, you know? And I'm like, dude, I promise like... I'm not going to do anything. Just follow me up a little farther. I swear the keys are probably right up here. And he's like, all right. And like keeps following me. And all of a sudden, I see a little shine. And I was like, no way, dude. He's told I, me this story. I run up, and that, I, run up I grab like the keys. And ago. I was like, I told you. I was like, I told you I wasn't trying to mess with you. And he's like, whew, you had me worried for a sec, buddy. <laughs> like, you know? And I was like, no, all good. We're good. And I was like, can you tell me how to get back to a... Uh, um, Watsonville and he's like yeah just take over and take Freedom Boulevard down hop on this road and go over and I was like all right sounds good buggy and then that's why I just took off and I got back to the shop where uh, my bike was staying at the time and I parked my bike behind my van I was living in my van at the time literally put park it between the building and my van hop in my van lock the doors go to sleep woke up in the morning homie ruthless <laughs> Willie rolls in the boys roll in put my bike in the garage drove back to Utah that day I was Bam. so scared. I was like, bro, they are probably out for Just blood. Just so you guys like, know, he's told me that story before. It took me a second to remember the ending, but I remembered that part where yeah. you ate almost. I, I almost died, I swear. Yeah. I, I was like, I was literally like, you've told if me I that. die right now, it's all good, man. Like, <laughs> I lived so you just in, blew the turn. Blew I just the blew turn through the and turn. just ended up on a bike Free track. I ended up on a bike track. <laughs> <laughs> it was the craziest moment of That's my life. Wild. It was the most lucky thing that ever happened to me. And I learned a very valuable lesson that day. I'll Don't t- run from the police. <laughs> and it, well, unless you have to. Unless you have unless to. Unless you have to. <laughs> I won't say a lot, but uh, one of the times uh, something did happen, I ran out of gas. So don't run from police. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. He was like, cr- I wasn't running. I, uh, got a, I wasn't. Didn't you get a ticket? No. Oh, you didn't? They impounded my bike. I wasn't oh. running. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't running. Was did they ever? Did the cops or anybody like ever luckily, like give you hell like with the swarm? Gary or like went the big to rides? school with one dude's dad, right? No, I went to school with one dude. No, no, no. And he's the cop. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was his dad. No. Well, oh, oh, that too. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm tied in with a couple officers. Yeah. That got some connections. So luckily, luckily, down at, I, I work at Salt Lake Harley. Um, 
I think I'm pretty tight with most of the Salt Lake cops. Mm-hmm. And we also, also do events with the I've, Salt yeah, Lake the cops. With, cops with, yeah. uh, they Hive crew versus cop events uh, at Salt Lake Harley, yada, yada. Um, I still don't know how much I trust them, but, <laughs> you know, how it goes. Um, I'm not going to tell any of my stories, but... Don't run from cops. <laughs> and that was all allegedly, by the way. That was just an alleged story. <laughs> That's just like y- your movie that you're making? Yeah. 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 We'll say Sounds that. like a allegedly. Sick movie. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. No, shout out, shout out Salt Lake Police, though, because uh, everything we do, I wouldn't say is exactly legal. So, and, and uh, to get away with as much as we do is pretty cool. So they've been pretty cool with you guys. They've most, been like, very the cool. Time, yeah. Considering. There's some, some that. Um, don't go south of Forty Fifth. Don't go to Murray. Yeah, don't don't go south of Forty Fifth. Um, but mo- most of them know what's happening. Like uh, this year, we have they invited me. Uh, I was going to invite a couple of you, but I, I still need to figure out dates and stuff. But there's uh, some sort of cop out event where they try and uh, comp- compete against each other. Mm-hmm. But they're going to give Hive Crew uh, um, a segment of time to. To do our shit yeah. in, in their their event. little competition yeah. deal yeah, in their event, and they set up their cones and stuff, man. When we did that event with man, those we guys, smoked through them. we smoked them. Yeah. The cones. Really? Yeah, I did. Yeah, the, uh, yeah I did. We I did, did like rollers through the whole <laughs> yeah. the whole course. Yeah, yeah it was fun. Uh, shout out them. Uh, they Big they do. Out. Yeah, they do. That's cool. They though, treat like, us good. Well, the cool thing is for sure, like, and I'm everybody def- like people outside of the community see that, and they're like, "Oh, these guys aren't half bad" because they're like doing right, stuff with. Right. The, they're doing events with what, the police. Well, I'm not, you know? We're not out to be. We're not fucking bad people. We're just riding motorcycles. No, yeah. I got pulled over on the way here. I just went for a little rip on the way here on my <laughs> monkey, and I was with a, a little group of people. We're up here on uh, the mountain road against the against the mountain, and I'm hitting wheelies, you know, like I always do. And uh, we get up to North Ogden Divide, which is the overlook that kind of looks over our city here. And uh, we're hanging out there off North Ogden <laughs> Divide. And I see a cop coming up the road. And I was like, oh, he's here for us for sure. You know, he rolls up and he's like, what's up, boys? He's like, we got some complaints about some wheelies on Mountain Road. And I was like, what? I was like, really? <laughs> he's like, yeah, my, my other buddy here, he's like, he's on the case. So he's going to roll up and, you know, talk to you guys. The guy rolls up, and I, I, I always engage immediately. I don't want to be the guy that's yeah. in the corner in the back. I always walk straight up and, hey, how's it going? You know, sh- try to shake their hand if they will. Will you shake my hand? Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm Gary. You know, nice to meet you. What's going on? You know, and then they usually have something to say. And this time it was just, hey, we got, we got some complaints about, you know, you guys doing wheelies on Mountain Road. He's like, um, show respect where it's yeah, due. Yeah, and, and I was just yeah. respectful. I was like, oh, you know, yeah, no worries. Like, what's going on? What do we got to do? And he's like, well, I got to call these guys back, and if they uh, say that they want to give you a ticket or whatever, we have to give you a civil ticket. And I was like, okay, no worries. He calls them, no answer. You know, it was just somebody calling, uh, gave him a complaint, right. and then just kind of a, a, a dead end. So uh, he was like, so were you guys doing, like, YouTube wheelies on that road? And I was like, what do you mean by YouTube wheelies? He's like, like hanging them and not letting them down. And I was like, I mean, <laughs> nothing like that crazy. You know, I was like, no, no, I'm not going to incriminate myself. I was like, oh, nothing that crazy. And he's like, okay. So he's like, all right, well. And he starts asking me further questions and stuff and calls the lady back. And I guess they they didn't answer whatever because of the false number. So he's like, well, nothing's going to happen. You want the bad or good news? And I was like, bad news first always. He's like, you can't drive home, points at me, you know, because he's like, your registration's expired. And I was like, Okay. And what do you want me to do though? He's like, it's Well, I'm not gonna baby. CC. He's like, I'm, <laughs> I'll he's, dare like you. he's like, I'm not gonna babysit you. He's like, once I leave, you guys should check out the view for a little bit and you know. And I was like, Okay, cool. But he was like he was like asking me like, So you guys uh you guys do this professionally? You guys do YouTube wheelies? And I was like YouTube wheelies. I was like, All right, I'm gonna be straight up with you now. YouTube. I was like, I'm I'm Gary, <laughs> I'm affiliated with Hive Crew, we're the only Harley stunt um, team in the state of Utah. We do prof- professional shows with Harley Davidson's. Uh, Shouldn't have said any of that. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what, dude? No, no so I'm talking, dude. I, I, I'm really good you at filling out people. Where it's due, I, I'm showing this like, homie. I'm showing this homie's respect, you know. Them. And I'm like, I tell him, like, I'm I'm affiliated with Hive Crew. We're the only Harley stunt team in the state of Utah. Um, all this stuff. And he starts asking me about like prior tickets I've got and like stunt shows that we do and actually intrigued though, not like trying to be an asshole. And you were like, this one time I was in Santa Cruz. Yeah, this one time I'm Santa Cruz. <laughs> Let me tell you this yeah. story. <laughs> but no, like as long as you show respect, the guys are usually really respectful no, back. I, I, and I he sh- was even like, so what do like 
have you ever got a ticket for this before? And I was like, I got a careless driving ticket one time, but a sheriff followed me for like two miles in a wheelie and I didn't know he was behind me, you know, and he got up on the side of me and I was like, oh shit. And I put it down and pulled over. And, but the sheriff was like, I mean, you weren't going over the speed limit. You were in your lane, you were in control. So I got to give you a ticket, but it's going to be a careless driving ticket, which is the same as this like, was today, no, that one? no, no, this is like a long time ago. Oh, on my Harley. Oh. But I was telling that cop that story because he's like, what do we even do about wheelies? And I was like, well, it's totally up to the they discretion. They know what to do. The it's biggest thing I want to say on the that officer, subject, though. dude, is show respect where it's due. We get, we get away with murder because um, what we do isn't legal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, Always and, just be respectful. And yeah, if you show respect, so do they. Most of these guys know that what we do is pretty uh, pretty crazy and, and takes skill. So they respect it as long as you show respect, too. For mm-hmm. sure. And yeah. that's that. I've, like I said, I've been pulled over 10, 15 times, and the gnarliest ticket I've got I is haven't. a careless driving ticket. <laughs> yeah. And I haven't been taken to jail. I haven't been locked up. I haven't got my shit impounded. I've had to deal with some dickhead cops, but it's like I'm always just loose and just show them that I'm not out to be like an asshole or be malicious. I'm just trying to enjoy myself and yeah. have fun, you know? And that's like, like what it is. The respect goes a long way. Yes. 100%. That's it. That's it. The respect can go a long way. That's it's just it. like, you know, yeah. if you come off as a punk kid, then you're, you're going to get be it. And like they, like have the, they have the opportunity to change your life, bro. Like, yeah, they're in control. At this yeah. point, I messed up. And that guy, it's right. he's the judge at that point. I've had you know, my like bike impounded choose, a couple like, times. Um, yeah. I've gotten away a couple times. But um, the biggest thing is just show respect where it's due. And uh, uh, when you're in rides, your don't be flipping off cops. Don't be doing this. Yeah, it's not if all If you're that. doing wheelies and a cop drives by, everybody put your shit down. Yeah. Tighten up. Tighten you know, up and, and uh, be and respectful. And be respectful. Yeah. You know? And we're all about respect because that's what helps us do this for the long haul, you yeah. know? If the I'm cops not, I'm not out all, here to fuck shit up. Like, I'm not here to, to be rude. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just enjoying my shit. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys ever get hassled like when you're at some of the lots and stuff? No. The cool thing is, is when we're at the lot, um, we've had cops pull up multiple times. Most of the time, they just they watch. Yeah, they watch. They they're like just it. like they get a call they and they're it. like, "Holy fuck!" Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn, that's great. Yeah. We got videos of the last swarm uh, when we had the meetup. The cop pulled up, um, and uh, we ended up. He was like, "No," I, he was like, "This is you're this chill. Is it. You guys are good." Uh, yeah. We have videos. Check out the Instagram. Easy does it, get it, Gary. Yep. Uh, we got videos of us doing donuts uh, around like the cop like seven eight of us like going around yeah, the really? cop just doing yeah, rollers really cool. and they're just so like, like they they know we exist uh how much what they're doing and and what they're noting that's what i don't know and that's what i worry about yeah but uh um, i have an open case against me currently but um <laughs> but <laughs> allegedly they uh <laughs> They're pretty cool about it as long as we're cool and uh, uh, being disrespectful is ne- never something I'll be yeah. towards them because yeah, I know what sure. control that and they it's have. The men in blue, bro. When they're not dealing with us, they're probably dealing with way different and well, they've got a hard job, situations. right? Right. Like, yeah. Matt, they, their job sucks. Yeah. Hey, I hear sure. loud exhaust, and they come and see a Harley Davidson doing a wheelie. They're probably like, "What the fuck? Yeah. This is crazy." That's the last thing they want to deal with, right. is, you know. Yeah. So as long as you show respect, that's it. Like, yeah. I get, and most I, of them I nowadays, like, they're our age. You know, yeah. Like most of the cops are our age, so we can be like, "You get it, bro." Like you know, like and they're usually like, "Yeah, we get it." You know, we yeah. do it when we're off the clock too. Don't be yeah. an you asshole. Know? Yeah. Or else they they it's are just like assholes. Pretty good like life yeah. advice, right? Yeah. Exactly. Don't 100%. be an asshole. Yeah. Don't be an asshole. Like you'll yep. get what you put out there for sure. Treat others like 100%. you want to be treated. Yeah. That's like the oldest one in the book. You know. Yeah. And it seems really easy. It's, it's harder than it's hard for some for people. Sure. Yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. No, it's. Uh, yeah, and that's just like I said, that's good life advice yeah, for sure. Definitely. Like, whether you're talking to a cop, or or a 16 year old kid who wants to learn how to stunt, or mm-hmm. a shop owner, you know or what I mean? Yeah, just whoever. anybody. Fucking yeah, be just, chill. That's you know. I mean, you know, like working like in the customer service business. Oh, dude, like, it's people insane. are jerks. When people dude. come to my desk and very demanding, and act tough shit, and like they know more than me. I'm like, dude, you have no fucking idea. Mm-hmm. And that's the energy I'll give them when they come to me like that. Someone comes to me with respect, and and uh, I'll do anything. Them, I'll do anything exactly that back. I'm capable of to help you. Sure. And so. and in my experience, like working at a parts counter or being a tech or Correct. whatever, like a dude might come to me and he may know more than I do. Right. True. And I will give but him don't respect. Treat but me like sure. you know more than me. More it, than it's me. It's a two way street. I'll, yeah. Yep. Exactly. You know. Well, it's even like if thing. somebody, even if you are more knowledgeable than I am. I probably maybe have something to offer that right. you don't, 
yet, you know? Yeah, and I might know a lot of shit, trade, you but know? I don't know what you know. Exactly, exactly yeah. Yep. And, and there's, there's always you're insights right. it's just from good. everybody. It's all around. Yep. Just don't be a dickhead. Yep. Yeah, especially when you walk into your local motorcycle shop. For sure. Like, yeah, no, just, I'm sure you see it all the time. All the time, man. I just probably see it it's more than you because people come here and they know what you have. People come into the Harley shit like, you did something wrong. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> the dealerships have, like, there's people that walk in the dealership with a chip on their shoulder yeah. because it's a dealership, right? right? Exactly. I dealt That's with exactly it when I was, I was there. That, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, they you didn't do anything. 20 something year old kid, and it's like, they don't even pay like, no Buddy, mind. you have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and we deal with it here. I mean, yeah. you know, there's just, there's dudes that are like super cool and easy to work with. Right. And you want to like go above and I'll beyond do, for like those if dudes. If you come them, at yeah. me with respect, I'll move shit around for you. But for if sure. you come in here with Demanding, a chip on your shoulder, yeah. I ain't going to move shit. Yeah. yeah. So and and a lot of guys are kind of like that. You know, I, yeah. I listened to your first podcast and uh, some people can be hard to deal with, you know, For they sure. come in here and they spend a lot of money. Like mm -hmm. people spend money in here and they're like, I want this done right now. And this, and it's yeah. like, you can't always have what you want, you know, story like, of my life. <laughs> and especially when you show up two weeks before the season starts or something, it's like, yeah. people have had their sh shit in the shop, Buddy, especially nowadays when parts and winter. shit are hard to get, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, it's hard. I mean, people working on motorcycles is easy, right? Like that, right. that motorcycles, the easy part, it's the yeah. people that are the hard part. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. definitely. Well, right now in, in the, uh, in the industry, it's fucking parts getting shit yeah. also, mm -hmm. yeah. but Everything then these people out. who we have to deal with, who started cool end up being, uh, able to deal with yeah. because, and it's not even on our hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I what, know you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, for sure. You know, like, it's like, yeah, I could, like hey, I, I could do this job today I'll get it if done I had in one parts. Day, but guess what? I don't have parts. Mm -hmm. And they're like, "Well, are you going to get it done today?" And you're like, "Well, don't well, you don't have own parts. the part company?" Like, no. <laughs> I guess what? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I don't also own who they get it from yeah. or anything that it's involved. With. Well, I mean, yeah, it's. It's. it's I don't want to go into specifics yeah, because no, I, I'm not going to sit here and talk about. Yeah, yeah we, we can do that my all customers. Day. We can you know what I mean? But like, that. Yeah, people. I. I just don't think people get it. Back be, to where it came from. Be a fucking nice person. Just be nice. Be, be good. Be chill yeah. and you'll get... Be patient, be, man. I haven't ridden my bike since chill. October. <laughs> I'm just, I haven't either. I'm being patient. <laughs> I'm being patient. Yeah. That's all. You know, that's all you can do. I got great news. My bike runs great. <laughs> <laughs> it could run better. <laughs> oh, no, nah, my shit runs good. <laughs> yeah, Sick. Hell yeah. Well... What about you, Tony? What what got you started yeah, what's up into with your plans? Uh, what you got? What's my plans? What got you started like into into Harley's? I want to I want to just know like kind of what got you what into my, it. Uh, I rode off road stuff growing up, motocross, desert racing, dunes, all that stuff. Um, and I actually used to drag. Right, we used to do sand drags when I was young. Okay, like, my sick. dad. Built that this. world's gone crazy with up at like Jericho. Or did you grow up here in Utah? Yeah. Or where'd you grow? So I grew you grew up, right up here. here. So did you go to Jericho or St. Anne's? Both. Both. Sick. Okay. Both. And uh, my dad got us into like sand drags, like uh, like drag racing, like so you've uh, always Banshees. been going fast, Banshees, like KT performance always, style. I actually worked for KT performance for a little while. Oh, sick. Yeah, um, and they're big dogs. Anybody who knows KT performance. Yeah. And man. I actually piloted. They called it piloted, which was a cool term. But I actually rode some of their drag bikes for them. Cool. When wicked, I was younger, wicked. sick because I weighed like a hundred pounds, They're and like, they were like, "You're light, guy. Yeah. get on that bike and run it." Yeah, you know? as fast as it can go. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, we we got into that, and then uh, the the owner at K and T Performance and my dad are good friends, uh -huh. <laughs> and and they bought Harley's. Yep. One day, like just out of the blue, my dad bought one, and uh, and I I got into it, and the uh, rest is history. Like, and that cool. this was like two thousand one. Really. Is when like it's my like dad. pretty recent, like not even two thousand one. One, that's twenty years I, ago. I mean, that's still twenty years. Yeah, you know, like, fuck. That's where were you at? Where were you at in two thousand? I was in first grade. <laughs> recent, my ass. Yeah. I mean, you're an old <laughs> man. <laughs> you know, you're like I am. Way, I'm way right? old. No, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, that's when I I bought my first my first bike in in O two. You've been doing this though. Yeah, I moved Tony's to Phoenix in 04. And you went to... Uh, you lived in Phoenix. How long did you do that for? I was there for two years while I was Doing at MMI. School, right? Yeah, MMI. Yeah. Yeah. And I worked at a metric dealership while I was there. Cool. Like a Yamaha, Suzuki really? Polaris. Yeah. And, sorry, what year was that when you were in school? 04, 05. So, so after you... And then I came back here and I worked at the dealership here in Ogden for eight years. You got plans for this year? I want to know about right now. 
Uh, yeah. What's uh, what's up with the race shit? What's what's your goals for this? Just so more? this this year, uh, I was on the fence about racing. Really? Uh, yeah. You put just a lot money. into it. There's I have a lot man. that goes a lot into of money. it. You're not traveling okay, and hear that part. And it's, you're investing in yourself. Yeah. It's all self funded. Right. Like yeah. I don't have any sponsors but that pay cool, me any money. What I've been That's trying crazy. to convince the shop that I work for is that like the legacy, um, and your name is on the board. You're known. Uh, on the Throughout. board, yeah. On the board in the scene, 100%. and that right there is worth it. It's worth it to me. Yeah, um, hell yeah. And a lot and of people don't understand that. It's like not, I, not, not being number one, but making yourself known in the legacy behind this shop that you've created. Yeah, uh, that that mean that means something. And that's cool. I mean, that's nice to hear. Because I mean, it's that's hard cool. for me to see that from dude. From I'm this telling side. you, yeah, it means a lot. Looking out, it never looks the same. That's what I'm trying to create right. these for these old heads. Is like you need to realize like uh, what other people think. We're of you. looking up to you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah, 100. Like you're you're slaying it. People care more about what you're doing than uh, people who are doing way more than you. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. and I think that uh, I think that that needs to change. Like uh, friendships and and um, not just fucking money. It's like. Yeah. Um, uh, the legacy behind businesses sure and yours is is killer yeah i mean it's it's uh, you know like i i love racing like i like you're right like the first form of racing i ever did i was like 10 years old and it was rc cars really Sick. see yeah. my dad got me into rc cars cool. in, when i was in like okay, elementary fuels that fire and yeah. like i like still love you just got, being you got at the racetrack. Do you have a dude. collection? Yeah. Do, you, do you still have cars? I don't need more, man. I wish I did. He's got buy a whole yourself a motorcycle, <laughs> dog. Hey, buy yourself an HPI and go have some fun. I should, man. I, I thought should. about it. Like, but but yeah, I mean, like my thing is like I just love being at the racetrack. Yeah. I love There's everything just about it. A vibe yeah. about it for sure. I love yeah. getting my stuff ready for the race. I was just about to say, I love the drive your boots to on. the race. Yeah. 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 I love getting to the racetrack. Yeah, setting up Pulling in the up pits in your with your trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. know the feeling. All that stuff. For sure. Like, I, everything about there's a whole it is, vibe to it. For I, sure. You know. Yeah. And Definitely. it isn't just the time on the track that I That's like. Not I it. like it and from it's start to be, finish. Yeah. There's so much more than just like it's about the winning. journey, man. It's the whole even like thing. on long trips. It's not about the destination. It's about the every gas stop it's on the way there and everything that happens on the way. More clips every time. It's probably because I get too fucked up. But every trip we go on, dude, I got more videos on the way there than when we're there mm -hmm. like when we i tried to do this whole vlog thing and like my clips end up being on the way there and on the way home <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. for sure but yeah so racing's the thing racing this year uh i'm committing to the whole season of brl again sick which is five awesome. rounds this year luckily it, so it's nice because that's only, it's only three weekends right so it's yeah. like first five rounds, three weekends. Yeah. What are the tracks this year they're not coming to utah right no not coming back to you are you doing laguna Seca Let's again do, yeah no, no. Good. no? Not, Dude, for, so not for our race. I want to, I want to, there, I'm barely sticking my toes into the door for the shop that I'm working at. Mm -hmm. And, um, I've been telling old man that, uh, that he should start caring more about putting his shit out there. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, and obviously I'm years behind you, but, um, I, when I first saw you guys racing out at, uh, Miller or, out here, UMC, uh -huh. UMC. Um, I was like, I think I could go fast here, mm -hmm. right? And then I saw you and um, Arnie. Uh, Arnie, shout and, out Arnie, and um, uh, homie with the red uh, FXR, oh, uh, Ra Ravi, Ravi Savage, Ravi Savage, shout, shout out, out Ravi, Ravi Savage, mm -hmm. uh, taking the Laguna Seca turn, and I was like, so gnarly. I could not do that. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna say, that, did you have you raced? Did you race? I have not Seca? ridden. How Laguna? was that okay. turn? Tell me how that turn was. He just said he like, haven't ridden it. I, I haven't raced you were Laguna. On that. Not Laguna. You didn't go there. Not that that it looks like a gnarly track. It's in Salinas, California, right? You're talking. You're talking the corkscrew out. That Laguna. corkscrew. Yeah. yeah. I remember watching the baggers go down that. Mm -hmm. And uh, right, so I have not raced. So that what track. is that? Only uh, not bagger racing league. That's king of the baggers. King, king of, of the baggers. baggers. So that's okay. the top of the top. I remember watching those baggers go through that turn, and I was like, never mind. <laughs> the corkscrew is gnarly, dude. It's, like, yeah. I watching, haven't raced it. It looks like those bikes almost screwed. lift off. They the unload. Ground. They, yeah, oh, really? you, you unload oh, as you drop. It's going to be so way, crazy. Over and then back. So you come up over the hill. You're, like, you're coming up and they you unload. press the hill. That's a perfect way and to you, say it. And you, 
you you turn left and they like just as you start to sweep right, you're kind of like Ooh. you're like you're like dipping in, dude. That turn but right you're kind there, of unloaded. That turn Ooh. right there scared me because I over here I was like, oh, I think I could do this. Mm -hmm. But then watching that turn, I was like, okay, this takes like skill, like oh, real yeah. shit. Yeah. And how I, fast are a, they going into like something like that? That turn you know? they were like, going 60, 70, weren't they? Like easily, yeah. Easily, and it's like a. Oh, yeah. And like dip into it. Like well, that. no, I think the hard part with the corkscrew is that it's blind. You know what I mean? You mm. can't even you, see it. You can't see it as you're coming into it. So you just it. have to know the feel. You just have to like practice. trust and know like Ooh. what your bike can do. What coming you, unloaded back into full lock mm -hmm. is insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I Come haven't in, been yeah. lucky enough to ride Laguna. I want to race Laguna somehow. I could um, go race King of the Baggers if I wanted to. Um, you know, and I, I'm not going to be competitive at, with King of the Baggers because, like, but to even put your right, name on the board, yeah. you like, should think the, about that because yeah. even to put your name where on those the guys the are, thing. it's worth it. Even 100%. to not come uh, on the podium to be a part of that is going to be rememberable forever. For and sure, I think that that shit matters more than being number one. Yeah, I yeah. mean, shit, that's the whole reason why you're doing this, right? For sure, like. To fucking yeah. make memories and do dope yeah, that's ass a shit. Big, that's you know? a huge I think part that, of it. Uh, more than competition, it's like just being being a part of it. Being there. 100%. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. like and people, people remember. So that. many people will see that. That's like NASCAR of Harley Davidson. One hundred percent. Yeah. So and that's where I see I see Baggard Racing only getting way 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 bigger than it is mm -hmm. right now. That's the first. It's the number one Harley thing. Just like thing, we were you talking know? earlier about what can come from this. It's uh, that is the. And it's huge. And that's already. where the most money is in the Harleys anyways. Bagger right Racing now. League. Right you now, know? for sure. That's the only sport. That's the only money. That's the only factory shit of Harley Davidson. Yeah. I see that that trickling down to stunts, to this and that. But I see more of that that's side. That's the main. X Games sure. and due to or yada, yada, yeah. if you will. But um, literally, it's a possibility for Harley Davidsons. You're in the door. That bike that you've built, that titanium Nasty. piece, all that, dude, that's insane. Mm -hmm. Like, that is... That's uh, that's history in the making. And, yeah, sure. No, it's and been we're, cool to be a part of. And it's just knocking on the door. Like, what are we, two years, three years into? Mm -hmm. Yeah, into this will be your three. third season? This will be my third, third season. Yeah, and that's, that's crazy. Awesome, dude. That's, that's cool. And look at that. You got third and a second sitting right there. Yeah. And I yeah. expect to see it at first. Yeah. I bet you'll get it. Like, you'll have a podium sitting right there at 100%. Yeah. I, I mean, you I need hope a so. number one. I need a one. You need a yeah. one. And, and well, you got you to go back for it. BRL, like, first place gets a belt. Oh, like a heavyweight belt, like a WWE belt yeah, or something. Yeah, man, I want one so bad. That's Get fire. it. Get I want it. one bad. Yeah. You got be, it, bro. I'll be rooting for you, you this got year it. for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, and it's it's hard, man. Like you know, I don't know if you guys ever feel it in the stunt world, but sometimes I'll get out there and there's like a you, you find your limit, right? And uh, like for me, I got a lot riding on it. Like I have a wife and four kids exactly. and a business I to think you. about, and like. I would be lying if I said that like there aren't moments on the track where, where you're I'm like, like chill. Thinking I'm about at it. my limit. That's yeah. okay. Push That's it? safe. Like, That's do good. I take a second or do but I push it? But does your wife support how what you do? That, how was that crash? You know? How was that when you went down? Was that gnarly? Actually, it wasn't, dude. It was pretty chill. It was. Super well, you're lathered easy. up, and that's a full control environment. Well, yeah. And where I went, where I went down at, at Sonoma, um, that that turns called the carousel. It's, it's another one that you come up over the hill and you can't see oh. the corner. You come up over the hill and then it's like almost, not 360, but it's more the than 180. Turn or and it's more. going downhill, right? Yeah. So that's one of those lift moments. Yeah, you yeah, come up over the hill and I was already out of position, right? I was already like so offline. Went, and I was coming in too hot and I hit my brake and my brake locked ooh. up. Ooh. And it like unsettled me. And then I'm like was getting it. closer to the grass. But the lucky thing is, is I hit <sighs> the grass and it's going downhill. So I just slid down the grass, right? Yeah, right. Pretty right. mellow. As mellow like as my, could my be. leathers yeah. didn't even take any damage. Oh, really? Sick. So, like, yeah. So, how's it feel to go down on a bagger? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was at, so mad. At high rates of speed. I was so mad. Really? I was so pissed More at pissed off than you were shook or, or For hurt. Sure. I was so pissed right. It's all right. As soon as I stood up, I was just mad. And at what myself. happened to the bike at that point? You'd have to do some. Did it just up or it didn't even it, roll? It didn't roll. It just didn't slid. It, it exploded my saddlebag because right. it hit the deck and it just exploded. Yeah, right. not Fire bad. That's glass. it. Yeah, Fuck. that's, that's it, not you know. bad. How fast were you going when when you went down? I don't know. Did you I, roll? 
No, I just slid. Slid, you like, slid like too. I was sliding into so home plate, solid. like like a, nice. a baseball slide. You Crazy know? man! All I'm saying is that's that's really cool. Um, don't don't let up. Take one of those number ones. I we only, number we only hear you once, dude. Yeah. I hear yeah. you yeah. when so you like say. So like last year, I got second in points in the championship. I was second place behind Arnie. Mm. Um, I so want that number one. Cha- I want the championship. Well, you're right there with him. This is, this like, is your season. you and Arnie are battling for you know? sure. Like, you know? it's sick to watch. Where's Ravi at, sure. at that? Where was Ravi at? Um, he doesn't race in my class, so he races on the on the um, soft tail street glide class. Or excuse me, not street glide, soft tail like Dyna class. So yeah, he technically races uh, what they call the big twin class. Uh, yes, which is like soft tail Dyna FXR. Right. Oh, cool. And then I race in the bagger, bagger class. class. Okay. Cool. So, and it's not really like the top, top that, tier, obviously. is there a tier above There's the a tier, tier that above you're me in, in pro B, within BRL. Bagger, or like in BRL. Within, what's that class? It, so, in BRL, there's, uh, there's pro, uh, now I'm forgetting, pro stock bagger. That's what I race. Okay. okay. And then there's bagger GP. Okay. So, that's uh, like the big the thing. Rules, like right under. So, the bikes that we ride, like the rules for the bikes, they're the same, right? The difference is, is like if you're a pro or if you're like a amateur. 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 Right. Okay. And that's technically what I am. I'm not right. a professional racer. Right? Yeah. I'm a shop owner. Well, you're what three, would it three take, years in. What would it take for you to say you're pro? I could get in. I could, at this point, three years in, you could I go. could go to GP. But if you I, need a one. But it's like, yeah, I could go to GP, but I wouldn't be competitive because I would literally be racing against guys who race for a living. For a living. Right. They do it every right. day. That's and what they do. And investing I, in yourself. Like, I haven't touched my bike since October. For right. sure. And That's one thing I want to challenge. To. <laughs> I want to challenge, challenge Tony to more this year is coming out on rides and just, yeah, like, you getting, guys getting, ride with getting us. out more sure. with us, yeah. you know? Like, because I'd love to see Tucker one Speed. Of my cha- one of my self like my own goals this year is to ride more just here have fun, for sure because like, i and remind you like it's not all about the work in the shop right. you know like you fucking started this because you love riding yeah, it's easy for us you to know? say this yeah. one has a full oh for sure for sure right? when i go to work i don't want to work <laughs> i don't want to work after but I, I i love to see people do uh the route like why they started yeah you know and, and right. keep that along the whole time right. you well, know this fool's been racing his whole life oh, I, for sure. I he rip, he's a ripper yeah. for sure and i still like to ride you know like i'll i'll still like to go rip up the canyon i'm not a stunt dude i'll yeah, be the first for sure. i'm just and not that's a the hard yeah. part is i'm always like telling all these people come ride and it's yeah. like dude i don't like to go far i'm riding from my house down state street to the lot <laughs> yeah that's and, great but i like to go ride so if you want to yeah. go up to like idaho bear lake or go up to yellowstone yeah. or whatever, let's go well, we're trying to do some shop rides this year you know well let us know because um, we'll we'll come you know yeah, we got support. we got some other events in the works that uh we would love to have you guys be a part of um awesome. that we're planning um and so we'll get, we'll keep you guys in the loop with that cool. stuff for sure Sick. and yeah we'll be watching I, mean, we got I would community. even like coming out and do like the swarm or whatever yeah dude just you should like, i'm up. not gonna stunt yeah, that's okay. But if it's honestly, just like being there witnessing hey, is ride sick. Hey, ride that fucker. Bring him on the on the big motor you built. You know, bring your people, and then even at the lot when people are gonna lot, recognize you guys. Set up a yeah. tent. Yeah, yeah. you guys have one of the biggest names in Salt Lake. Way, way bigger than us. Utah. Like you're Utah. Known. You know. Um, what did I say? Salt Lake. Well, yeah, in youth in in Utah. Utah. Yeah. I mean, we're not even Salt Lake. Yeah, you're you're, we're you're Ogden. Right. Yeah, you're Ogden. Ogden. Um, but yeah, at the lot day, bring a tent and just set it up because it'll be cool to. have I mean, you I'd guys. come hang out. I'd set up a tent just so I could sit in the shade and just chill. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Just and dude, honestly, that's what it's all about. Yeah, just show yourself. Cooking burgers, drinking beers. That's gonna be the having lot, conversations lot day with the boys. For the swarm. There'll be a lot of out of state people. Those people know you. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to come out. Wicked. Yeah. Yeah. The like we got a tight community here it's not huge but it's like loyal and it's tight you know yeah. Yeah. everybody rides with each other and right. that's what i love i about think there's utah. this tendency with our with utah i feel like sometimes that it gets a little it gets too clicky clicky or yeah. or well, like this shop against see, that shop you or, should see other, yeah. other states uh one thing even that more I don't, clicky we have conversations with our boys is one thing like uh shout out arizona but arizona has this tendency to have like like they all, slay they all rip hard. And then, but there's like some people that won't hang out with other people, and these people want to. They won't go to the lodge at the same time. Yeah, they ride yeah. different lots, and it's like uh, we talk about it all the time. We don't want Utah to end up like that. Yeah, like we we don't want the clicky shit. We want everybody to yeah, be like Utah, you like riding. I like riding. Utah is like too riding? small for that. Yeah, it's yeah. like well, we're all on the same. Well, page. and that's the thing. Like 
how many riders are in Arizona compared to Utah, oh, right? A lot. a lot. So like with that, with large groups of people, you're going to have these Correct. groups for that sure. break You're going to have different right. individuals, that, for sure. That's but something if, that I do not want, want to happen. And because that's cool the only thing that's going to happen is more people are going to start riding here. Yeah. And, well, and um, you guys, the, the the what you guys have going for you as Hive crew is you're the ones that are, are leading bringing the pack everyone together. So if you set that tone, that right. pace, and that's, that's what, what people that's follow what it'll suit. Be. Yeah, exactly. 100. Yeah. But everybody's pretty like, good about it. We're cool. It. With you. We're cool. Shout we're out Black crew. Line. You can't Shout out Harley. Yeah. I know yeah. that uh, there's all that, but it's like uh, us as riders. Um, I support everybody. I don't like. I, I don't said not I like support anybody. everybody in the game because we're all in it for the same reason, for, sure. for the love. Yeah. And we all could fucking die out there doing it. You sure. know? Like we all could lose our buddy tomorrow. Hands you know? down. And we all have lost our buddies. You know, like we've. So that's why I think. That's why I love it. That's why it's such a. It's a tight community. Yeah. You know. And when I say we just work on it, work on keeping it that way. Man. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. More yeah. events. Uh, probably will this next year we might uh start doing more than just the swarm. Um, more than just Taco Tuesday, because I know you guys don't want to show up for a, a Taco Tuesday street ride that lasts an hour, right? In Salt but Lake, maybe yeah. we'll start doing more. Well, we're, as, we do throttle of, Thursdays here. We're going to do throttle therapy uh, Thursdays here yep. every Thursday. Uh, kick stands up at 7 at Wimpy and Fritz. And shout out Wimpy and Fritz, the local taco yep. spot here in Utah yeah. yep. um, in Ogden. So um, well, hopefully we'll, in the we'll future, we can, there. us as Hive crew can start uh, – something more local for the local people to come together yeah well i say like you know as hive crew as us uh, you know tucker speed the other the other shops around let's just work at making it a cohesive yeah for sure that's all we want to, you know culture even like camp outs and stuff i'd love to get all the shops on like one big camp out and we can all go party and bullshit have a cool ride together we might know? have an answer to that problem Sick. coming this summer red yeah let's do it so we're working on it. It's early, you know. We don't have anything set yet, but uh, there is talks of a camp out. Perfect. Yeah. That we're excited that hopefully we can get it, get it rolling because I think it'd be cool for sure. And it's like an event that like we've talked like if we're gonna do a camp out like this is not gonna be a working event like this is a ride Enjoy and we're gonna yourself. drink and yep. camp and party and. That's it. And even me. Like, I don't want to work. I don't want to set For up sure. a booth. If I, I see you working, I'm going to be like, Tony, I don't want to work, get a dude. beer in your hand, brother. And I don't want anybody yeah. to ask me, like, about their bike. Yep. For sure, what, and dude, what's you wrong have with it? to. That's like I feel like that's so crucial for a guy like you. That's, that's just the hard in the, part. That's in the shop every off. day. You know, yeah, like that's that's the hard part. Like wanting to go out and ride sometimes, trying to get like, away. I'll from show it. up at you know we'll ride up to the bar, and like dude's like, hey man. Come check out my bike. There's something wrong with it. And I'm yeah. like, well, I just got done doing bike. that. Or yeah. the place. I don't want to look at your yeah, bike, bro. For sure. And I think people need to respect that and realize that. Like, if you guys see somebody who's a shop owner or see a shop tech or see a shop mechanic that's out at an event, try to make it your goal not to go up and ask them about bike shit. Yeah, because they are dealing with that shit all day, yeah. every this day. Is their time and literally, to like, they'll be nice and they'll help you. But the last thing they want to deal with right then and there. They, they're trying to enjoy themselves. I don't want to talk about what's you wrong with You don't want to talk motorcycle. about with what's wrong with your no. bike. So And I've been that guy before. Give them a beer, <laughs> cheers them, <laughs> and have. thank them for their service yeah. and yeah. and have a good time, yeah. you know, especially I, when I, you're I, out of the shop. Yeah, for sure. So, Well, shoot, man, we're almost two hours into this. D, Dang, goes we're killing quick. it. We were yeah, worried it we fast. weren't going to last that long. Here we are. <laughs> yeah. Quick. Is this the la longest you've ever lasted? I've yeah. never oh, even. Oh, I'm, I'm a minute man. I'm a solid minute man. <laughs> I've lasted longer. <laughs> All right, funny. cool. Well, uh, dude, thank you for the platform. Yeah, yeah thank you cool. so much, Tony. For, Seriously, for, uh, for joining on. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Uh, I'd love to have you guys back at some point. We'll yeah. keep everybody let's updated. Let's, let's, let's stay up to date, and, man. And, uh, let's like give stay an in touch and like do sure. some do some uh, cool shit. And then, uh, where can people find you? <laughs> we both pointed at each other. Hey, easy does it. Eight oh one. Uh get a Gary underscore on Instagram. And, uh, one thing Hive I wanna do say is uh shout out Hive Crew, yep. shout out Blackline Speed Shop, shout out Solly Carly, shout out Tucker Speed. Yep. Um Blackline has made a lot of shit possible for all of us and, and uh where we're at. Um yeah, yeah, free labor on bikes and stuff. They take care of our show. I just drop it off and they, Dude, they kill it. They stuff. kill it. So I um, uh, appreciate that. Shout out Bassani, LA Choppers, Law Tigers helps everybody yeah. in Utah. So a huge shout out to Law Tigers because those guys, um, 
show so much support yeah. to I everybody. Wouldn't, I wouldn't you be know. able to do what I do without uh, f- uh, Fox Fab. Uh, Fab 28 Dynamite crew has uh, hooked me up since I, I like a long way before I deserved it. Um, yeah, those people do us good for sure. Good. It's it's, right it's important extracts, to have like people that yeah, you know extracts. support you obviously because shit ain't cheap, man. Yeah, man. No, man and just like getting a free I fuck my bike up exhaust or something like helps so much. That's a thousand dollars I could put somewhere else. Yeah, you know? right. Like, so. Um, the companies out there supporting the riders and, and the people that are coming up, um, it's greatly appreciated, and uh, we we love it. Yep. It, it keeps us cool. going for sure. Sick. So Dope. thank you, Thanks, guys. Tony. Yeah. Thank you, Tony. Thanks Appreciate for coming it. on. Appreciate yep. you guys. Sweet. All right.